All right, my friends. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back to me. Welcome back to all you. Uh, haven't been on in about two weeks. Uh, it's been an interesting two weeks. I uh, went to SCG Indianapolis, which is a big uh, modern open. Lost playing for top eight, unfortunately. But I lost to my teammate, Brandon DeCandio, who won the tournament. So silver lining there. And then um, straight from Indianapolis, went to Foxwoods and Mohegan Sun casinos up in Connecticut with uh, Nicole and her family for a little vacation. And then I got really, really sick. Um, I had the stomach flu for about 10 days, basically completely out of commission for 10 days. So um, didn't really get to stream. I did one or two little like quiet streams um, where I wasn't really talking. But yeah, basically been out of a loop for about uh, two weeks now. So I haven't really done any real streams or YouTube videos or anything, but now I'm back. And uh, just coming off a top four this weekend at SCG Worcester, which was a legacy event, of course. And um, I played this pretty sweet Miracles deck, um, which we're going to talk about right now. Um, what's up, Brian? What's up, Tannen? What's up, uh, Vend? What's up, Rick? What's up, everyone in chat? How's it going? What's up, Sauce? Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for tuning in. And um, lost in top four. I did lose to Delver, which I feel like is a good matchup. Uh, my opponent played well. And um, the list is a little untuned. I kind of just, honestly, kind of just threw it together. I started with a list that had... Um, had counterbalances and stuff in it, and a bunch of crap, and I cut all that pretty quickly. Um, counterbalance just seems really, really bad in this deck. <laughs> like, if you're like fully set up with Jace going and brainstorms for days and stuff, sure, like you'll counter some spells with it, but it just seems super awkward and awful. So, cut that one, um, added the mentors to the main deck, and uh, two back to basics main. All basic lands, one Tundra, probably the worst land of a deck is pretty fun when your expensive card is the worst card in your deck. And um, I added a Path to Exile, because I felt like finding your first Swords to Plowshares effect was very, very important. Obviously with Snapcaster Mage to, to flash them back and stuff, you know, finding that first one's really important. So I added a, a fifth Swords to Plowshares, basically. Um, a lot of the usual stuff, you know, Predict, um, obviously very cool with all your, you know, top-looking effects, uh, Portent, very cool, Terminus, you can Terminus on their turn. Um, Back to basics. Monastery Mentor is really, really good. It's not as good, of course, as it was with the ability to play top, flip top, pay, play top, flip top, but still very good. Good to close the games. Um, Jace the Mind Sculptor, obviously very, very good. Force of Will, Terminus. Force of Will and Necessity, uh, you boarded out in most of your fair matchups. Um, then our sideboard. We were, we were playing uh, Search for Ascanta Main in, uh, in Worcester last weekend, or this weekend, or whenever the hell it was. Yesterday. <laughs> But um, I put them both on the board. Um, I feel like you don't want search in any matchup where your opponent is playing Wasteland or you're playing Back to Basics actively. But if they don't have Wasteland and Back to Basics is not going to be very important, I think search is actually great. Uh, we got our clicks and our priests and our disenchants, which are really good. Rest in Peace honestly wasn't even that good. Um, I don't think you want it against the Delver decks because your Snapcasters are very important. But um, Flush Storm is great. I added, I added a second Flush Storm to the main deck. It plays very well with Mentor. Just very good in general. Uh, Verdict. I got a Crocus in the board. And um, yeah, basically kind of what you would expect. It's definitely more of a um, more of like a threat deck than the old Miracles decks was. You know, decks were. You know, you're not trying to just like counterbalance, lock them, and like really lock them out of the game. You're never looking to stick one of your your eight threats, being Mentor, Back to Basics, and Jace. You know, against a lot of decks, Back to Basics is just an Armageddon permanently. So you just stick that, you know, all of our lands are Lotus Petals, they cast a spell or two, you deal with it, and they can't really cast spells anymore. So, and obviously Jace is great too. So, that's the deck, and we're going to run through a league with it, and yeah. Tannen asks about... Uh, getting basics off of Path to Exile. A lot of decks can't. Obviously, it's a slight nombo at Back to Basics for decks that do have basics, but it's just it's just an unneeded effect. So, let's battle. Thanks to everyone for, uh, for tuning in and for the support while I was sick. It was, it was a... Uh, I'll spare you, uh, you all the details, but it was a pretty rough uh, seven or so days. I just started to feel better uh, on Friday. Friday was the first day, like a few days ago before Worcester, that I was actually feeling like human again. You know, I, I had my first 
full meal again on Thursday. And um, felt very, very good to eat again. What's up, Ty Bucks? Thank you. I appreciate that. Obviously, I wanted to win the trophy, but I was happy to uh, finally win a win and in. I've been kind of cursed, I feel like, in the last like year and a half. I think I've, I've lost probably double-digit win and ins on the SCG Tour in the, the last uh, like year and a half. I've lost so many win and ins. It's just, and you know, it's obviously sometimes I get a little lucky, sometimes things just happen. But like, like I had a few where like I had one against like Jacob Ball where I just mulligan to three in game three, you know, like rough circumstances here and there. Um, but yeah, just keep losing, I would keep losing win and ins. And my, my MO is basically lose my win and in and then come in 17th on tiebreakers. I did that probably six or seven times in the last year and a half. But now I've passed that curse on. Uh, Benjamin Nikolic, who has been crushing the SCG Tour lately, um, I was able to defeat him, thankfully. And he came in 17th on breakers, so I have passed the curse on. So Benjamin, unfortunately, will not be top eighting anymore, and I'm going to go on a huge tear. So, All right, this hand is like... Kind of mopey. We do a force. We have mentor. But we don't have any cantrips or actual removal spells. We're on the play. Our basic lands are great because not being able to get wastelanded is awesome. This hand's pretty mopey. Like, if they're playing an unfair deck, we have force. They're playing a fair deck. You know, this hand's pretty bad, I guess. I mean, any, any brainstorm or whatever is obviously. With Terminus, this deck is definitely somewhat reliant on Terminus. I don't know. On the draw, I would definitely mulligan this. On the play, I'm like leaning towards keeping. I don't know. Everyone in chat wants the mull. There you go. Nicole's got the the mull. All right, Nicole used the mull emote. We'll mulligan. I guess it's probably a mulligan. It's just so nice that like they can't screw with your lands. I'm gonna make every land drop and they can't stop me. But all right. Well, I guess we're gonna keep this. Counterspell is like fine. The original list I had found that I was playing was uh, playing three, which seems a little crazy. Um, down to one. All right, let's put a mulligans also. Island on top. Okay, so I think we're gonna probably not ponder. We'll just top this and just play Flood of Trans, I go. I mean, like, ten, and, like, if it's, like, a death right shamers, you don't have to force it, you know, like. Thanks. Thanks for following, uh, Jensen. And, of course, if you're watching on, uh, on Twitch, make sure you follow the stream, and if you're watching on YouTube, make sure you subscribe to the channel. What is this? We got a death right shaman? Sure. All right, so <sighs> AMS, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see if a curse can do it. <coughs> Excuse me, <coughs> sorry. So, kind of an interesting spot here. So we're gonna cast Ponder. There's almost an impetus to want to fetch first because we would like to have our predict available for next turn um, and actually know what our top cards are. Um, a little awkward though. This is why counterspell is kind of awkward because you're often fetching planes. Thanks for following. Um, thanks, Minifer. Thanks, uh, thanks, Peacebone. Appreciate that. So, like, counterspell is often hard to cast in the early turns. Um, so, yeah, we're going to fetch first. Try and find a land to play. So, next turn we can go predict and play around days. Finding a terminus is also acceptable. All right, so Scalding Tarn, Monastery, Mentor, Snapcaster, Mage. That's all pretty good. Mages were least interested in Monastery, I mean, uh, in Snapcaster, Mage. Uh, I put that back wrong then. I should have done it the other way. Oops, I was talking. All right. Uh, all right, so we put the, the Snapcaster third from the top. Actually, that's fine. I'm sorry. That's good. We're good. It's going to be a hard deck to stream with, honestly. It's a lot of little minute interactions, but... All right, so... So now we can go, next turn we'll draw the Mentor, play Tarn, and we can predict away our Snapcaster Mage. Yeah, definitely going to be a difficult deck to stream. We'll, we'll see if we can get through this league in reasonable uh, 
reasonable skill level. A um, lot of little, a lot of like um, setting up for things, whether you're setting up for a terminus or predict or setting up for future turns, setting up where you want to draw a certain card and shuffle away a certain card, what lands to get. The deck's definitely, um, definitely difficult to play. However, I'm proud to announce that um, over the course of the entire tournament, I batted a clean 1,000 on my portent triggers. Didn't miss a single portent trigger. Um, Alright, so yeah, we're just going to say go here. We'll predict away the Snapcaster Mage. We do need to find like Sword Supply Shares, Terminus, things of that nature. Um, we could do it on at some point on their turn and try and hit Terminus as our first card, which I kind of like actually. I almost like doing it right now in their upkeep. Um, if they have Spell Pierce, they might Spell Pierce it. They don't know what they're drawing yet. They don't know what their top card is either. I guess we'll let that resolve. It's hard to know if, like, the information... I, don't, I almost don't want to give them the information. Um, like, yeah, the information for me doesn't really matter. Yeah, I think we're just going to predict right now. And obviously they could like daze this and force us to crack our fetch, but whatever. Like we still we still, we still draw a card. So, all right. So we did not draw a miracle. We drew a land and a portent, which is great. So and a miss. It's a nice nice miss there, which is good for us. Yeah, definitely gonna be definitely gonna be more of a gameplay stream. So I'm gonna be focusing a little more on the game than usual. Usually I'm like playing YouTube videos and you know doing the the dirk a dirk. But thanks, Chapa. And I'm right back at it next weekend. SCG Dallas. Some modern. I'll be playing a lot of modern this week. I'm gonna be streaming a lot this week. I gotta make up for last week. So lots of streaming, lots of YouTube videos. Uh, I'm playing a lot of modern. I'm trying to figure out what to play this weekend. Of course, uh, we got a brand new format in Modern. Uh, Jund is apparently everywhere in the Magic Online Championship Series. There were like 10 Jund decks out of a 24 decks. So Jund is uh, definitely the deck to beat at the moment. It's also expensive though. People don't change their legacy decks often. So it's hard to know what people are actually gonna do. But we'll see. Honestly, not really sure. I would like to play the card Jace the Mind Sculptor, but I honestly I don't have a good idea. Watch the stream all week and find out, basically. I'm probably going to play probably around like 8 to 10 leagues on stream this week. Um, I'm playing a league after this um, with Craig West Coast Blue White uh, Death and Taxes deck because I kind of want to make fun of it and it just seems very, very amusing. Um, the old Seer and Visions Thalia deck. It looks like it should be like a metagame deck versus Jund. Um, Craig did not do very well in the tournament, but um, I honestly was going to play Jund, but um, my card hoarder loan account, big thanks to the card hoarder for loaning me cards, um, has a $1,000 limit, and I couldn't take out this deck and Jund at the same time. It's just too expensive. So so we're just going to eat my predict main phase, which is a little weird. I think Ponder might be a better Snapcaster target anyway, but what are you going to do? It's... Yeah, I'm not playing Boggles. Um, I know I wrote, I wrote about Chuckler decks on my article, but Boggles is a little too Chucklery, Chucklery, Chucklery for me. If I was playing in like the Players Championship or some big major tournament where I felt like you know, my, the players were going to be all either at my level or a little bit above me, um, I'd be more interested. But I feel like in an open, I'm you know one of the better players in the room, so I would like to leverage that. And I don't think Boggles really does that. You know, that, that's really really far down the Chuckler scale. All right, so um. They have four cards in hand. We're just going to slam Mentor. If it resolves, cool. If they force it, whatever. We're not under a terrible amount of pressure, so. Well, I guess they could, theoretically... I guess they played a Bayou. They're playing Salt Eye Delver. They could actually... They could kill it first before we fetch, so we're going to get to fetch first. Yeah, Maximus. Nicole told me that after the fact. Nicole told me... I, I, was, I was driving home. I called Nicole... And she said I played two lands against um, against uh, Benjamin in the last round. I obviously didn't realize it. Unfortunately, I didn't catch it. Ben didn't catch it. The, the judge didn't catch it. Coverage didn't catch it, I guess. 
which is unfortunate. Obviously, it was not intentional. Um, Nicole said it didn't really have much effect on the game, which I'm happy to hear because I would feel pretty bad if it did. So... Death Rite and Delver have a same. They do. That's actually pretty interesting. I actually never noticed that either. All right, so Mentor Resolve. That's pretty gas. So it's probably going to die, but we're going to cast Portent and get at least, at least token off of it. Uh, we're going to Portent ourself. And if Mentor lives, uh, the game gets really easy. So, like, if we're able to untap, play Judgment with Counterspell backup. So. so I played Search. I played one Search main, one Search board uh, in, in Worcester. I think Search is very good at any matchup where your opponent is not playing Wasteland and you don't really want to back to basics them, which is which is not a lot of your matchups, honestly. You know, most opponents back to basics is great, ag or is great against and a lot of opponents are trying to Wasteland you. So I feel like it's just better as a sideboard card for the mirror and other like slower matchups, combo matchups, it's actually really good. So. Um, it, it was very, very good. I, I played against a, a Doomsday deck, and it was really, really good there. I just, like, countered a spell, surgical something, and then flipped search. I was able to just, like, power a bunch of counter spells. All right, so they are dazing my portent, which is pretty cool, because I honestly don't care. If my portent was a duress for their days, I'd be fine with that, so. I mean, the mirror, I think, like, elves, I think you, I think you would want it. Um, com some combo decks. Abrupt decay. All right, so we lose our mentor, but we still have, we still have a token, which is nice. We're also getting close to just casting Jace, which is nice too. So, is Doomsday a fun card? <laughs> Doomsday is obviously a very peculiar card. All right. So they have three cards in hand. We're obviously concerned with with the card Spell Pierce for our Jace. So I think we're incentivized to want to wait one more turn. I think I'm pretty happy to play Council's Judgment, and I think we're going to take out the Death Rite Shaman, so then we can Jace bounce the Insectile Aberration. Um, I know Vidalver is a bigger threat, and we are at 12 going to 9 going to 7, but Death Rite Shaman's a bigger threat over like over a longer game, and bouncing Delver is pretty sweet, because obviously he's not guaranteed to flip, so yeah. I think I was probably favored against elves, not not spectacularly, but probably ahead. Not really sure. All right, so they're gonna respond with Deathrite Shaman, which is smart. Yeah, I guess Salt Eye Delver being at seven is definitely not as bad. Um, they don't have bolts. I mean, they could be playing some sort of like four color Delver deck. I mean, who the hell knows? Um, but. I guess I should have played the Misty Rainforest so if I want to cast Counterspell. That was actually dumb. But it's fine. Thanks, Zippo. Yeah, that, that was a mistake. I thought I was repping, like, Sword Splash Shares. That's, that's, that's just stupid, though. I should have played the Misty. Again, a lot of little things in this deck where it's going to make it maybe a little difficult streaming and talking and getting all the little little minute details correct. Like, if they cast a spell here, I want to Counterspell. I'm going to need to fetch a Tundra which means they can wasteland me, which is kind of annoying. This is true name, it's kind of annoying. Tombstalker. I mean, that is a good card to Jace the Mind Sculptor. Right, we are going to we are going to counterspell attempt to counterspell this. It might end up end up getting dazed, but ideally this counterspell works. Sweet. And now now we have a Jace with spell, with spell Pierce and Daze backups. They have that. They basically have that force here. And even if they do, we can cast Brainstorm and try and find a Sword Supply shares. So I guess we're gonna. No, nah, we'll leave Tundra on that. Sweet. All right. So now we are in good shape. Um, we'll leave Brainstorm. I'm not. Gonna, I'm not gonna be in Cincinnati. That's gonna be the one open I skipped this uh, this season. Honestly, the team events are really really uh, wearing on me like I 
it's funny because I wrote the article a long time ago saying we should have we should have team team events, but they're like the prize structure is pretty bad. Um, you know, it can be frustrating to get to actually like assemble a team. Like, I just like playing my own matches. I don't like you know when I screw up having it affect others. Um, all right. I don't know. Like, the prize structure is also pretty bad. Also, I have no buys in team events, which really sucks. So, all right, we're gonna brainstorm first in case in case you want to bounce with uh with Jace. Yes, that that weekend we're gonna go down to our new house for two weeks and work on it. Back to basics. Brainstorm. Brainstorm. All right, so we're gonna ship a Jace and a brainstorm. We're gonna fetch. And I think brainstorm again. We do need to answer the things that are in play. Monastery mentor, force of will. That's kind of ugly. Um, I mean. We can't assume our monk is going to be available for blocking because they probably have like fatal push or something because they just you know have a bunch of random removal spells probably they only have two cards in their hand. Um, if we bounce, I guess if we bounce the Tarmogoyf, this is pretty. This is pretty gross. Uh, all right. Like, don't really want to draw Force of Will or Scalding Tar, and Back to Basics is a little awkward at the moment because we're behind the eight ball a bit. Put back to... We could Back to Basics, bounce, and just hope they don't, they don't flip Delver. Or we could we could Back to Basics and bounce the the Delver and just look to chump. The problem is we just, like, die in a lot of scenarios, honestly, or go to one. Which is pretty rough. Um, like if they flip Delver and they kill our Jace, we're actually just dead in two turns. So I think we have to, I think we have to bounce Delver. Um, yeah, we're gonna back to basics and bounce Delver. Our monk's getting big. And just hope they can't kill our monk. Bouncing Delver gives them a blue card to pitch to pull pitch. Sure, but like they just can't. Re I mean, we, we don't really care about force at this point, I don't think. As long as we can just survive and untap with this Jace, which looks like we're going to do, we're fine. And they can't recast Delver, otherwise, then now they have a Lotus Petal on a land. So I think we're in good shape here. We just gotta turn up some spells with this Jace, and we'll be in good shape. Honestly, we have, we have the force on top. We can just like. I guess we need to play something to block. So, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Once again, thanks to everyone for tuning in. Welcome back. I've been sick for the last week and a half with um, with the stomach flu. So, I'm happy you're all uh, happy you're all here. we got 140-ish viewers, so thank you for joining me. All right. Um, our top card is Scalding Tarn. So, we're going to draw Tarn XX. we got to hit something, um, but let's do it. Wow, that's pretty bad. Um, that's actually awful. Now we need to chump with our mentor. Christ. That's just terrible. All right. Um, obviously, we just needed any castable spell there. Just bounce Goyf and play mentor. I don't want to leave my... I, I, I mean, I think drawing any one mana spell there is super likely. <coughs> All right, I do want to shuffle. We're going to play Mentor and just chump. Um, and we're going to, yeah, so we'll do one, two. I guess they can attack with the Death Rite Shaman. If they attack with both at Jace, Jace will die, but we'll have, we'll still have Mentor. Oh, they did have a Force. All right, we're just dead. All 
All right. We probably played bad that game, honestly. Like, we definitely should have won that game. Uh, I guess we, I mean, if you leave both forces in our hand... Uh, I don't know. We definitely could have, we definitely should have won that game. I, I would have to watch it again, but, I'm, but we definitely should have won that game. All right. Um, forces come out. Bring in these five. We also cut. That's our last cut. My sideboard is a little bit different now. I guess I don't want these extra. I don't want the extra click. Yeah. Should we just cut the counter spell? Counter spell's pretty bad. Click blocks Delver and then helps to force my big cards through, which I like. Yeah, this is good. Man, yeah. I don't know. We. I don't know what we did in that game. I mean, we didn't draw source of plowshares, which is what, again why I have the, the the path to exile in because you really need to find that first swords. Um, I think we were a little unlucky to not hit a one mana spell or a two mana spell off of our brainstorm there, but we didn't play around force of will. I guess we could have like left both forces in our hand, but then we can't shuffle. Um, I don't know. Tough spots. Tough spots. What's up, Panther? Uh, yep, I'll be in Dallas this weekend. SCG Dallas New Modern. Chase the Mind Sculptor and Bloodbird Elf. We'll see how it is. Uh, the mocks last weekend, Magic Online Championship thing. Uh, a lot of jund. A lot of jund. Burns, are you sleeping? What are you doing, bud? You've had like the last like, week and a half off, right? Lazy and around while I was sick. Back to work. What's up, Otaz? Uh, Blue White Auras. I haven't played Standard in like a while. Um, so I haven't really touched uh, touched it that much. Um, this is fine. Obviously, we have a Brainstorm and a Fetch Land. We're just going to keep. Fluff Storm is pretty good for pushing our spells through. Would I play a Donation League of Zombie Hunt? Yeah. I'll play Donation League of anything. I'm a sellout. Well, our deck just beats Wasteland, so... Alright, we are going to... Like, if they have the read and, like, days our Brainstorm, it's not great, but it's not that bad. That's a good draw. This card has been really, really good. It's possible that there should be a second copy of this card. Um, all right, so we're gonna probably fetch a. Though we draw, I guess. I guess we'll give ourselves the option of either or. So small. Okay, so hand obviously gets better now. Um, I think we're going to just ponder. Yeah, get an island. We have two white here, so let's just get an island and ponder. Although if we get an island and ponder, we can't set up a terminus, but we can always set up set it up like two turns away, which is fine. Fluster Storm, Council's Judgment, Vendillion Click. So Click answers Delver nicely. Um, I don't know if we need a second Council's Judgment, but yeah, we're gonna... We'll bury the Fluster Storm in case they have like a therapy or something, which seems unlikely, but... Hold up Fluster for him. I guess they are playing Salt Eye and not Grixis. I'm just used to playing against Grixis. I played against like 10 times, but... That's fair. If we get him, that's very reasonable. Obviously getting him. Yeah, all right. All right. Yeah, you're right. You're right. We lost both of our lands. Well, that's a huge tilt because we have two spells on top of our deck. All right. Yeah, I guess I guess that was a bit. That was a mistake too. All right. Yeah, I should have let, let the flush storm for him. 
I've been playing against Grixis Delver, played against Grixis Delver six times in Worcester. I've not played against Sultai in a while. I just forgot about forgot the card him to Torok exists. And now we're probably gonna lose because we can't cast spells for two turns. So very fair, very fair. Slayer, sweet. Yeah, that's that's just a, that's just a big punt on my part. Obviously very unlucky we hit we they hit our two lands, but could have just been easily prevented. Burnsy. Yeah. Obviously the worst possible outcome, but I should have played around it, so it is 100% my fault. I mean, I played against Grixis Delver six times in the tournament, and I think that almost every list was exactly the same. Oh my god. Alright, well now we obviously just can't win. Burnsy, they love you, Burnsy. They love you. Now we draw another Council's Judgment. Yeah, I mean, we're probably just dead here. Yeah, Force can't stop Fluster Storm. Maybe two, two separate copies. If they're forcing to push through their him, it's like not even that bad. Yeah, so basically threw his game away, unfortunately. Typically they can't interact with our lands because they're all basics, but I guess they can him to Torok all of our lands, so. Hi, mostly lost. You can hear him chewing. I do have the noise gate off. Tries people are complaining about the sound. So. And Tarmogoyf. Okay, and we're just dead. Yeah, about that. I mean, we are basically dead. Him better than Wasteland, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, this deck's definitely not easy to play. Um, you're you're definitely signing up for having to play basically perfectly, essentially all the time. Um, any little mistake you make will get punished pretty hard. And um, we've seen a good example of that in this in this match. We made um, probably a little mistake or two in the last game, and then obviously a big mistake this game, and we're losing. So. Again, easy to, easy to complain about our luck there. It was very, very unlucky for us for the him to hit both the lands in our hand and not be able to have any lands. But, um, you know, could have just played well and wouldn't have been a problem. Um, I think we're just going to target our... S like, I'm doubtful to want to take a card from them anyway. Um, I think we're going to target ourselves. Just take a Fluster Storm. We need, we, need, we need these judgments to make sure we get rid of this Liliana, so. Drew a Ponder. Oh, they're letting us block. That's pretty cool. That's a start. Yes, I was uh, very close to not going to Worcester due to being sick, but I I, uh, I got better fast enough, thankfully. Apparently the flu has like a, a 7 to 10 day recovery period. I got sick uh, last Thursday, like a week ago. Planes. Damn it. Well, now we're just dead. I guess we could draw a portent into Terminus. They have a force in their hand anyway. We, we need a lot of help. That is probably not going to do it. I guess we can try. Well, the, the, the Fluster Storm can help push through Council's Judgment, theoretically. But yeah, we are... Obviously, missing land drops for two turns has uh, put us pretty far behind the eight ball here.
Yeah, now we're just super dead. Wise man say, forgiveness is divine, but All right. Never Rough first match. Uh, could have played better. Again, this is this is definitely a very very hard deck to play on stream. It really requires almost all of your all of your focus, which obviously is not there in a stream. But we'll we'll push through and we'll do our best. You know, we'll work together on it. Don't, don't be shy. Yell at me and tell me to do things. And um, yeah, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're sitting here, welcome to the stream. My name's Jim Davis. We're playing uh, a slight update to the blue white. Miracles deck that I took to a top four this weekend at SEG Worcester. Um, and, um, yeah, if you're watching on YouTube, make sure you sub to the channel. If you're watching on Twitch, make sure you follow the stream. And, yeah. Play better! Trying! I'm trying! Magic's hard. Uh, I don't think they should unban top. I think they should ban. Um, oh, look, more death right shaman. They should just ban this card. This card just shouldn't be legal anymore. I just don't think. I think it's just a very, very bad thing for the format as a whole. Um, like, we could force here. We probably want to force here. I don't have an answer yet. But yeah, I think Death Rite Challenge should be banned. I think it's just a scourge on the format. There's just literally just mono Death Rite Shaman decks. It stifles the diversity of the format. I just think the card is like just way too good. Important, eh? Um... I also think the card to get Taxi and Probe is pretty lame. Um, I don't think it's, like, necessarily too powerful. I just think it's a really lame card. I think it, like, it just not... It takes a lot of the fun out of games. And trying to figure, trying to figure out your opponent's hand and stuff, and, like, they just know it all. You know, like, I don't know. Um, alright. Brainstorm, Snapcaster, Land. Definitely don't need the Land. I guess we want the Snapcaster and the Brainstorm, so... So we're going to draw the Brainstorm. I guess we'll play the Strand. Yes, Nicole got me multiple multiple portents from multiple sets. Even though I only needed uh, one more Ice Age one. Yeah, they're, uh... Here's the ones Nicole got that I didn't play. So thanks, Nicole. Just give me the give me the variety pack. Thought Scour. Targeting themselves, sure. Death Rite Shaman, Force of Will. Okay. Wasteland. Nice card. Stupid. All right, so we're just gonna play a Lance Lego, um, and then we're gonna try, we're gonna draw our Misty, and then just cast uh, Mentor with the. Uh, Brainstorm back up. Very happy just uh, playing lands and drawing lands and playing lands. Um, the Delver decks, the longer you can take against the Delver decks, the better you are, better off you are. Because all of our soft counters just get worse, worse and worse and worse as the game goes on. What is this? It's an angler, I guess. Big fishy. Alright. We can also go over back to basics here, um, which would basically draw out a force of will almost assuredly, and then then we can re move to resolve our mentor next turn. I kind of like that better actually. I think back to basics is a little less important than mentor is, given that we have no answer to this angler at the moment. So yeah, we're just gonna. Here we go. Island. Planes. And I guess we just fetch now and leave the blue up. I guess I didn't need to fetch there. Yeah, I guess we're going to be brainstorming. Oh, that was stupid. I shouldn't have fetched. This deck is not easy to play without your full attention. Yeah, I should have said, I should have, there's no, there's no reason to fetch there. Okay.
Okay. Hello, back to basics. I mean, the wastelands aren't really that relevant, but resolving the back to basics and then tapping their underground sea is pretty insane. <clears throat> Um, you really don't want to play your spells into days if possible. You really want to try and play around days, um, which is why making the land drops and not being not not being able to be wastelanded is great. Like the Delver deck comes together because you, I time off myself to draw Misty. Yeah, that was the point. Like you want to play around days. Like, like there's we're not really in any rush. Our opponent didn't have, didn't have any pressure in play, so you just wait. When you're playing in soft counters, the longer you wait, the worse they get. Um, and Part of what makes days so good in the Delver decks is Wasteland. You know, they're able to Wasteland you, keep you off your mana, Wasteland you, then daze you. You know, if it's just days by itself, it's not nearly as effective. So you just wait and play around it. You know, we're at plenty of life. Like, this is great. They just Lotus Petal for a Ponder. That's awesome. Yeah, so now we get to play Mentor and Brainstorm, and then Untap and Snapcaster and Brainstorm. So, of course, yeah, they, they definitely could be days. They're gonna days to bounce their lands, which is fine. All right, no shuffle. Cool. All right, so Monastery Mentor. Yeah, definitely a deck where you kind of want, you want to sit there and basically do nothing, which is my kind of deck, obviously. So, all right, do they have Force of Will? Nope. Brainstorm. Storm count two. Storm count two. Just throwing that out there. What do I think about the red variants that run Blood Moon to the Back to Basics? Um, I mean, they play a lot more dual lands, so they're much more vulnerable to Wasteland. Thanks, Mountain Mage. What's up, Skill Paddle? Skill Pad. All right, we're just gonna get an island. Obviously, we draw Swords of Plowshares. It's whatever. Actually, never mind. We're paying for days. Never mind. What the hell is that? Garage! <laughs> Thanks for following everyone. Ponder, Ponder, Terminus. Alright, we don't really want Terminus. I guess we'll put it on top. Actually, I don't even want to put it on top. So I want to cast Ponder into Ponder into Snapcaster, so. Why not have Snow Covered? Ooh. RJ, what's up, my friend? First new sub of the day. RJ, what's your name? Where are you from? How long you been playing Magic? Favorite card of all time? Favorite deck of all time? Most important, what's your name? Where you from? Ever welcome our brand new sub, RJ, with some serious love and chat. Little Jim D sellout. All right, we're just gonna chump here. Uh, we're so far ahead that I don't want to get punked out at four life. So, ooh. Dismember. Okay. Well, that's a little annoying. Um, it works out fine, though, because now we can just uh, Snapcaster Brainstorm on their turn. Terminus. Um, yeah, so we just say go here, and we cast Snapcaster Brainstorm, Terminus. We'll lose our Snapcaster, but whatever, and then we just have Ponders and then back to basics and play. So, yeah. We'll uh we'll do that on their upkeep. Hi, Super Nintendo Chalmers. Thanks for following everyone, appreciate that. Which member?
Top card is Terminus. How lucky. And a Force of Will and some Ponders. Alright, so I guess I'll put back Fetch Land, Ponder. So we have the option to Force if necessary. I think Mentor's pretty sweet. Um, you really need a way to, like, win, you know? And Mentor does that pretty well. Alright. So, now we are in pretty good shape. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, I guess we shuffle. Huh. Well then. Terminus Sword Supply Shares. Alright, well... I guess we'll... I guess I could have shuffled there, but whatever. We'll leave Terminus on top, they play a creature, we'll cast it. And we'll just set it up for the long game here. Um, Makala, I'm not sure. Um, again, I haven't played Standard Tip that much, I haven't played the Aura deck. Um, the turn towards Moment of Craving and, you know, a million Veracity Contempts and stuff definitely is bad for the Auras deck, um, but, you know. Eh, just wait. Patience, my friends, patience. It's important to recognize the game state. We're in no rush. We can just hold this brainstorm. All of our lands are Lotus Petals, so we just kind of chill. And every brainstorm they cast is a Stone Rain. So. Well, yeah, we gotta smash the. Well, not F6. It's F, we're F2. F2. Slippery Scoundrel is probably fine in Ores. Um. Thanks, destroy target, tap creature. Appreciate that. So we have any creature covered. We have Force of Will. Opponent's in the vice grip right now. They got their head in the sleeper hold and they're trying to wiggle their way out and it's just not going to work out for them, unfortunately. Another ponder of a lotus petal. Yeah, there's definitely a version of the Ors deck that was going around that was playing uh, Slippery Scoundrel and Saram's Expertise, which is kind of interesting. So, Delver of Secrets, sure. Does the opponent play Abrupt Decay? Um, I don't know if they're Grixis or Sultai, honestly. Days, Source of Blashers. I'll pay for that. Flooded Strand. Uh, we're still just gonna wait. I should have played the land, I guess, but... Four? I mean, I don't think Bug plays four Underground Seas either. Like... Alright. Now we can brainstorm. Ship two of those... I think they're trying to play Decay. I mean, yeah, they do at this point. Like, we're pretty far. We do need to find, like, a Jace or something, obviously. Jace, Mentor. You know, we're going to fetch... Uh, I guess we could, we could have, like... Could have Snapcastered a Ponder there or Portent, but... Thanks, Mika. Gurmag Angler. Force of Will. Hard cast. Okay. Riding on the wall. Got it. Same sideboarding as before. We got 
four forces and a counter spell. Nope, that's 59 cards. Is he leaving the click over counter spell? Yeah. All right, back to basics. What's up, Luna? What is the strange feature? If you're just tuning in, welcome to the stream. My name's Davis. This is a slight update to my Blue White Miracles list. I came in fourth this weekend at SEG Worcester with. Uh, we added a Mentor and a Fluster Storm to the main deck and cut a counter spell and the Search for Ezcanta. Slight change to the sideboard. Um, well, it was mostly just the same deck. Ginger, Ch Ginger Chef Chief, uh, yes. Well, I was sick last week. I did two short streams, which were uh, like sick day streams, where I, I didn't have my mic on or my camera on, and I was just playing post-rock and playing, and uh, a lot of Godspeed on that playlist. Snap, I mean, Magala, I'd rather just use the four, so it doesn't really matter, honestly, at that point. We're so far ahead, so. Uh, Engine Explosives is good. That could be a card. I could see that card being a one of. Uh, you cut force of will in any fair matchup. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm still a little sick. Um, force of will is just card disadvantage. Uh, so, you get rid of it. Unless you're playing as an unfair deck, you do not want force of will in your deck. Krakus is in the sideboard for, you know, reanimator, show and tell. It is also a card you bring in uh, if your opponent doesn't have wasteland and you don't want back to basics when you bring your clicks in. Uh, I did bring it in, against, bring it in against mono white soldiers. Um, in the tournament, and I bounced uh, Thalia a few times. I was also the Monarch. Just throwing that out there. I was the Monarch. Uh, roll. No, I did not see the Twitter thing you're discussing. What 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 Twitter thing? Okay. Um, we are going to... We're getting an island... We're gonna portent for. I mean, like, portent gives us the possibility of casting terminus on their turn. Doesn't really seem relevant. So I'm gonna portent first. Snapcaster, island, plots. Those. These are all great. So, I guess I should have. I said one of each. Doesn't really matter. All right. So. Okay. I don't get it, but okay. I mean, Sakenic's cool. I don't know who this third person is, but all right. Portage. That was a distraction. Uh, Kedro, you're trying to get me to miss my Portent trigger. I didn't miss it, thank you. Yeah, they're awesome. Look at those little tiki faces. What does the Monarch do? All right, so basically, it's like a, a multiplayer mechanic. Um, if you... Some cards, like, make you the Monarch. The Monarch gives you basically, like, an emblem that says, at the end of your turn, you draw an extra card, and if someone deals combat damage to you, they become the Monarch. So, all right, we're going to Swords... I guess we'll wait till they reveal. I was 3-2 in a tournament, yes. I lost my... My first round after buys and my, thir my third round after buys. That was three and two, and then I rattled off many wins in a row. Brainstorm? Okay, we're going to let the Brainstorm resolve, and then we're going to cast Swords of Plowshares while well. they can't spell pierce it. Monarch is big in Pauper, too. What commons make you the Monarch? Did Sakenic misplay game three of the... Sakenic wasn't in the finals. I beat Sakenic in top eight. <laughs> ah, that, that is pretty fun. The little uh, tiki guys have bodies too. All right, so it's swords now. Once again, playing around days. Just literally always play around days, all the time. P 
Palace Sentinels. I don't know. I don't know what any, any of those cards do. Yeah, the Monarch is very confusing. It's obviously like not exactly clear via the card what the Monarch actually does. We got a true name here. A little true name action. True name's annoying. We obviously have plenty of answers for it, but like it is annoying. What I lose to on day one? I lost my first round to Grixis Stelver. Um, I think it was a pretty rough match. Um, I don't think I played great either. It was my first match with the deck. And then I lost to Burn, which seems like a pretty hard matchup. Oh, just a Gurmag Angler. Cool. So I think maybe I should have pondered on turn one, because now I'm kind of wishing I had a Portent instead of a Ponder. Um, knowing which one to cast is pretty tough, honestly. How do I feel about Sasser's comments on lands? I don't know what that is. Uh, okay. We're definitely going to cast Swords. We're probably going to cast Ponder first, though. Alright, there's no Terminus. There is a Sword Spot Shares, which is pretty great, though. So, I mean, uh, a Path to Exile. So, we're actually going to Path the Angler. Um, and we're going to do it now while. Uh, I, I should play the Fetch Line. I'm dumb. I should put. God damn it. Path this now. We're gonna use path, not swords, because it's a five-five, and there aren't any basics anyway. So, snap plow again, guys. Let's talk. All right, let's talk. Melvin. Play around days. Um. Yeah. I, I, any glands is fine. I don't know. Days sucks when you can when you play around it. So play around it. Leovold. All right, sure. So they're gonna draw a card off Leovold, whatever. Basically, Portent gives you the opportunity to cast Terminus on your opponent's turn. Do you have a trigger? So like, if you can set up for that, it's better. But obviously, you don't get the card immediately, so it can be worse. It's very very it's very very awkward to know when you want Portent or Ponder. Um, all right, so. We're going to, they have three cards in hand. It obviously feels terrible if they're able to counter our thing. All they can, all they can do is, uh, they could double daze, I guess, theoretically. Yeah, we're not going to let them double daze, I guess. So we'll just cast the swords in our hand and just say go. They have Force of Will. We can snap. They'll probably exile daze if they have Force of Will. And then we could snap swords again, but there's probably, probably no rush to do that. So, what's up, Flaming Cheetos? Uh, I, I didn't use it, Toots. I used it for one. I used it once, and I just didn't like it. So, I, I figured out I'd use it as a punishment. So. They could surgical. Sword Supply Shares. Okay. Right, so they are forcing it, and they are exiling... Force. Force exiling Force. Which makes me pretty confident they don't have a daze. Um, I guess we're going to snap Swords now with Swords on the stack. So if they have a Surgical, we'll still have a Swords in the graveyard. Because I didn't need to fetch first, but... So obviously it's annoying they're getting to draw two cards here, but they did they also they also two for one themselves with the uh, the force of will. So they have a daze here. God bless them. I guess we still have a snapcaster and uh, swords in the graveyard. So wow. So I think we can assume they drew that. Maybe not, but that's pretty sick. Um, all right. You flash back the, well, like, we still, we want to have a, another f sword slash path in our graveyard, so. I mean, they might have drawn it, they might have kept it, they didn't have any more blue cards, I guess, but either way, it's not that bad. Back to basics. 
So, yeah, I think we're just gonna snap caster. Um, well, Steph, there you go. I mean, the thing is that like Steph, the it's likely they exile days to to force a will there. So like, I think it's pretty unlikely they don't have days there, given the context clues we've been given. It's possible they drew it off Leovold. It's possible they kept days. And if they did, God bless them. That was a good play, you know. All right. Um, I guess we'll fire and snap. We're gonna main phase it. Uh, because if they counter the the swords, um, at least now we're going to go for path because they have surgical. But if they counter it, we can just double block the Leovold anyway, so. What's up, Snephalophagus? Um... So basically, my path towards playing uh, playing this deck was as follows. I um, it's funny because we our BCW challenge event on Friday was canceled because everyone's flights got canceled. Oh, come on, that's such a tilt. I f sixed and now I'm getting spell pierced. All right. This is not a good deck to play on stream. It's just too hard. It's just too many mechanical things that I'm trying to skip through by playing quickly and talking and like F6ing and stuff, and we just got screwed for it. I should have fetched beforehand because they had the Wasteland in play. I should have fetched, then played Snapcaster, then played Sword, so they couldn't do the play that they just did, which is obviously awkward. But, um... Thoughtseize, sure. Yeah, that was, that was also a bad play. <sighs> But, um, yeah, like, I played some Super Blood Moon decks while I was sick. I tried playing Grixis. I hate the mana base. Tried playing Salt Eye Delver. I didn't really like it. I saw the Miracles list. I figured I'd try it. The list was really bad, and I 4 one So, yeah, obviously I shouldn't have F6. I'm just trying to play quickly and talk on stream. Yeah, obviously that never would have happened in paper. Although I should I should have fetched first. That was, that was definitely... That, the mistake my, The mistake was fet, was not fetching, because I didn't, I didn't play around uh, Spell Pierce. Um... Yeah, obviously Tetsu, I know that. Yes, I just am talking and trying to play fast. So forgiveness is divine, but never pay full price for late pizza. Yeah. Not often you get your fetch land wastelanded. But yeah. Very important against soft counter spells to crack your fetches first so you don't get into spots exactly like that, where they're able to somehow tax your mana and play a a soft counter spell in response to a fetch land so you can't pay for it. Um it's a good lesson. Uh, yeah, sure. Show me a abrupt decay or something. It's gonna suck. They have a daze. Sure. Tundra. Okay. Um. Tilt. Do I think Leovold will be banned in Legacy? Uh, no. <laughs> Leovold is like seven steps down the line as far as problems go. Uh, Deathrite Shaman is the card that makes Leovold good. Just like they banned Bloodbraid Elf in Modern kind of like foolishly uh, because Deathrite was the real problem. Same scenario here. Yeah, I mean, we're going to play Jason Bounce Leovold. It kind of sucks, honestly, but... Yes, I, 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 may, I, I, it was my error to not sack my fetch line in response to the sword supply shares. That was dumb. That was, that was, that was the actual mistake. The fact that I f six and just lost my fetch line to the, to the uh, wasteland also sucks. But all right, so they draw a card off that, which really sucks. I mean, fate ceiling's like not really solving. I don't know. We can still fate seal. The spell burst was really frustrating. We just we just screwed up really bad. Now it's just Leovold just still in play. All right, yeah, we'll fate seal us. No.
If we ban Tron and unban Cloudpost, what does that do to the modern format? Um, I don't know, honestly. All right, so they have to not have Force of Will here. They've already they've already gone through two forces. Um, they exiled one to a previous one. Let's not get forced here, please. Or stifle, I guess. I was stifled in the tournament by a Grixis Delver player who was playing a few stifles. Alright, cool. Now we're online. We have finally dealt with the Leovol. We should have dealt with like an hour and a half ago. And we're online. Okay, Terminus is going to go on top. I don't think Street Wraith is a super a bannable card. I think Street Wraith is a dumb card. I agree. Um, it's not as dumb as a Taxi and Probe. I really think a Taxi and Probe is like a stupid card. I think it's just a really, really poorly designed card. It's borderline playable without the peak. And the peak just like, it just makes so many like situations that would be interesting very uninteresting. For example... In the game I lost to John Sakenic in uh, top eight, game two I mulliganed to six. I kept a one land, one island hand with a brainstorm. I scryed to the bottom, and didn't draw land. Oh, this is so good for us. And um, on his turn, on his turn one, he probed me and saw my hand was no lands and a brainstorm and a bunch of like three drops. So when I cast brainstorm the next turn and I didn't draw land, he just forced it, and like. Without the information from Probe, he would never, ever do that, you know? So, um, like, I would just cast the Brainstorm and everything would be fine, you know? Like, and, like, it's just kind of lame, you know? Like, it just takes a lot of the fun out of, like, the guesswork of, like, figuring out what your opponent has and stuff. Like, I don't know. All right, Brainstorm. Predict A. I can mess with Predict. Arid Mesa. Bang. Brainstorm land. Brainstorm. Telepathy suite. That's a cool card. Alright, so we're gonna Welcome aboard. We'll shuffle these two uh two islands away. We're actually, we're, we're gonna save our ponder actually for mentors, so we're just gonna say go. Thanks for following everyone. Make sure if you're watching on YouTube, you follow sub to the channel. If you're watching on Twitch, make sure you follow. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Don't forget also subscribing to the stream on Twitch is the best way to support me as a Magic player and as a streamer. It's only five bucks a month and uh, you get access to all my emotes. Uh, no ads is a big one. Also access to my private Discord chat server for subs only. Best place to talk to me about Magic. And um, my undying gratitude. So, sub now. Do more stuff here? What's going on? Another angler. Alright. I mean we have mentor. Wise man say forgiveness is divine. Thanks for following everyone. Snapcaster mage. <laughs> Thanks everyone. Alright. We are going to start out with a brainstorm. Council's judgment, that is pretty good. I want basically all of these cards. We can go Mentor, Council's judgment. They have a daze, it's kind of a tilt. We could also just... Um, put back two lands, play Mentor, Ponder, and just like, derp around a little bit. Um, the Angler doesn't really matter. It's obviously annoying that Jace is uh, on one, so we can't just bounce it. We do have another Jace in our hand, which is a thing, but... Um, Alright, we're gonna 
Thanks, Darzik. Mentor, ponder... I could mentor, ponder, snap... Swords. Let's see if we get forced here. No, okay. All right, they have one guard. D. A D. So I think we actually just want to swords the death right shaman. We can just deal with angler. Oh yeah, I should have snap swords before the ponder. That's right. Sequencing wise, that's a lot better. It plays around days better. They have a daze here. It's like a little annoying. Definitely true. Definitely true. See, play around days every time. I just forget sometimes, you know. Cool. What's up, Zona Raider? Welcome, my friend. This plays into toxic. I mean, there's no way they have toxic day illusion or like post board against miracles. That's just insane. Like, insane. Yes, obviously I should have. I should have. I should have snap swords first, and then pondered. Play around days. I uh, can't. It was actually the third force, but yes, that was very lucky for sure. I had um, I had two brainstorms. Uh, the first one could have hit force, force, or fluster storm, and the second one had, could only hit force or force, and I got lucky and hit force on the second one. So, no doubt, very lucky. Thanks for following, everyone. Alright, so I think we're just going to probably Jace Bounce, cast Jace. Uh, Mountain Mage, yeah, I mean, I drew a White Source that was less lucky, but... Yes. I mean, what do you want from me, you know? Himbatorok. All right, sure. Annoying, but whatever. I guess theoretically I should have left the Council Judgment on top of my deck in case that happened, but sure. Uh, another Mentor? It's awkward. Um, I should have attacked the mentor. I'm I'm sorry, guys. Blech, whatever. What's up, false? Yeah, I'll be in uh, I'll be in Fort Worth next weekend. S C G, Dallas, Fort Worth. Popsky, I totally agree. I think that Deathrite Shaman really stifles the diversity of the format. Uh, it's very hard to play that. It's not playing Death Right Shaman and playing fair. Ponder, no shuffle. So we're going to click. We'll block the angler with the click and the Snapcaster Mage. And then hopefully we'll draw a spell off Jace and we'll start going nuts with our mentor. What do they got? Abrupt Decay, sure. Does Deathrite Shaman act like Force of Will by keeping other decks in check? I would say no. I would say it obviously keeps Reanimator in check, but, like, it's just too good. Alright, so we have a Fetch Land on top of our deck. So we're draw we'll draw Fetch XX. I kind of want to keep a Fetch to Shuffle stuff away. We're going to just do it, though. Terminus Ponder Land. So what's um put back Terminus Land? We're gonna shuffle. Cast Ponder and try and go nuts here. K 
Council's Judgment and lands. Eh, we still want it. It's hard to pass up any, uh, any castable spell here. Alright, this game's obviously over. We do have two lands on top, I guess. So if they find some way to kill Jace and then kill all of this stuff. But yeah, alright, cool. Alright, so play a little sloppy there. Um, obviously, that spell pierce thing was pretty unfortunate. Uh, definitely not what I wanted to do, but yeah, there you go. So if you're tuning in, welcome to the stream. We got over 500 viewers. Give yourself a hand. Terrific audience. Thanks for hanging out. And um, we're playing Miracles in Legacy. Why is Burn such a bad legacy? Like, I think Burn's fine in legacy, honestly. Um, it's very, it's pretty good against the, um, you know, all the the Delvery decks and the the, the decks like that. Um, it's not great. There's the card quality, it's just a little bit low. But like price progress is really really good. So, what do I cut for search for Ascanta? I mean, it depends on the matchup, you know. So, yeah, player on days. All right, so we're one and one. Uh, this is a keep. I did lose the burn this weekend. All right, I'm going to lead on portent. Once again, reminder to everyone: I batted a thousand on my portent triggers this tournament. Just throwing that out there. All right, Tundra is the worst possible land, so we could shuffle here, but we have the ponder. I think it's fine. I'm, I'm fine drawing Ponder and then a land. Why just one Tundra and no Red Splash? Because we're playing back to basics, and basic lands are amazing. I was Wastelanded once the entire tournament in Worcester. Once. It was great. All right, so they went Delta Go. Not very telling. Um, I think we're going to Brainstorm Ponder. Uh... Predict Counterspell. Okay, cool. So our Ponder can set up our Predict, which is nice. Alright, so we're putting back Tundra and Arid Mesa. <laughs> While I was sick with the stomach flu, I binge-watched, like, the first two seasons of South Park. Like, I, I don't watch much TV, but I couldn't do much more than just lay on the couch. So, that's pretty... This is pretty good. I like this. So, um... We're gonna draw Force of Will, which is super nice, in case we're playing combo. Um... And then our top card, oh crap, I, I did, did too fast. What were, what were our top cards there? I put out Path to Exile, and then what was the land below it? It was a fetch land of some kind. I don't recall which one it was. Was it Arid Mesa? Help me out, folks. I got I got, I got predicting you did. Thanks, my friend. Yeah, the Soldier's Deck is definitely uh, something else. I was the Monarch. It was a Flood Strand, are we sure? My top card is Path to Exile. The card below it is... Flooded Strand? What is this? Him to Torok. I mean, there's no reason to force this. That's a him anyway, and that just hits, hits two good cards. So, let it rip. Hopefully, they don't hit my... Don't hit Predict. Alright, so they Counterspell Snow-Covered Plains. Perfect. Pretty sure it was Strand. It does not say him in chat log. All right, I'm going to cast it now. I can't spell pierce it. We're sure it was Flood Strand? You guys better be right about this. You guys are trolling me. It was Flooded Strand. We did it. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Good anti him the Torok tech in Predict. Streamer's advantage. I mean, obviously, it's an advantage and a disadvantage. Because if I was just paying better attention, I wouldn't have forgot. And you guys are distracting me. So, all right. Leave all to Noah. We're not going to force it, obviously, though. So. 
untap player on days and just cast path to exile on it okay uh yeah we're just gonna path it if they have a counter spell of some kind it kind of sucks but all right cool they seem to have basic lands, though, which is kind of annoying. Oh my god, the basic lands! My back to basics! You path an upkeep and you uh, let them untap their lands. They could have, like, Spell Pierce, Counter Spell, Fluster Storm, etc., etc. It's just not worth it. If you're, if, you're just, if you're just focusing on your match, you don't forget the cards. So, you don't, you don't gotta write it down. Helpful Strix, not particularly good against us. All right, so now we're in a spot where we need to decide if we want to play Jace now or later. Um, they played him and Strix. They're probably just playing, like, you know, four-color pile or whatever. So they might or might not have Spell Pierce. We could just wait till we have a blue card for Force. Also, I think we're just going to wait. Soldier match looks stressful. It was stressful. Uh, he had Cavern of Souls all three games. And, uh... A lot of cards. Brainstorm. All right. Thanks, last chance. Yeah, it looks like they're just playing like salt salt eye. Could even be like shardless salt eye, maybe. Yeah, definitely not Delver. You know, you don't play Belvo Strix and Delver in the same deck. They have their own Jaces. It's kind of a tilt, but... <sighs> Donut, uh, I think Goblins is still favored against them, but I would not say it beats up on them anymore. All right, um... We're going to hard cast Force of Will here and hope it works. I don't think they're playing Days in their deck. They might have Spell Pierce, but... I'm out of planes? Holy crap. That's annoying. That means his Arid Mace is actually blank. Tilt. Just, just happen to draw all my planes. It's super awkward. When I started playing Magic, uh, about a million years ago. I was in high school, like 2001 maybe. Hold. Oh, crap, dude. Nope. They force a world exiling true name. All right. Yes, yeah, so we're going to try and brainstorm back in if we can. <clears throat> what else did I do this morning? Uh, I woke up and then I had a... Uh... I just run a ship that... No, yeah, we'll... Play. They don't know Mace is dead, so hopefully they want Spell Pierce. Alright. Brainstorm. Sweet. Well, now it's Mentor time, so that's pretty cool. Um, uh, we need to put the planes back. I guess we'll put a Mentor back, just to keep it safe. We're not going to fetch, so... Mandy, thanks for following, my friend. Thoughtseize. Alright, well, my mentor is safe. Back to basics over Blood Moon. Well, it's one less color, and you get to play all basic lands. So... Also, back to basics turns off your fetch lands. Crap. Yeah, I'd say we're not super well suited for this matchup um, in game ones. I would say that they have more more grind than we do. Um, this is definitely a search for Escanta matchup. Yeah, Goblin Lackey's great. Oh, they're going to Fate Seal us. What a tilt. There goes our mentor. 
Yeah, I think we're just we're just totally screwed here. Like, I don't even know if we want back to basics in this matchup. Once we have search for Escanta, things will get a lot better. Um, one of the downsides to not playing red is, of course, that we don't have access to uh, the red blasts, which are obviously very good in a matchup like this. Swords to Plowshares, Snapcaster Mage. That's probably not good for us. They have two cards in hand. Uh, we can Swords the Snapcaster Mage, and then, like, I guess, End Step Snapcaster Predict. I mean, Jace is on seven already? Jeez. Oh crap! What order? What order did I put the lands back on? God damn it! What order did I put? I, put, I had two fetch lands. It was like a flood strand and like a a misty or something. Which one's my top card? Do you guys remember? Anyone? Hey, yep, I'll be in Dallas. Well, Jake. Yeah, that's why you either have back to basics or search in your deck, not both. Forest? What forest? Misty then Strand? Check it, Lord Draken. Help me out. Thanks for following, everyone. I'm pretty sure, yeah, I think it's Misty on top. Misty? Alright. It's possible I should have just cast this in response. Yeah, I don't think I should let them brainstorm and then cast brainstorm. Now they might just have a hard cast force of will. It's strand? Oh god. Oh god. What is it? Misty or strand? Help me out, chat. I'll just counter anyway. It doesn't matter. First card, click. Last card, drawn. Strand on top? All right. Yes, I'll be playing Modern later. So they have Decay. I have an Edict. All right. That's annoying. All right, here we go. Oh, you guys are right, and we drew two lands anyway. Good lord. Ugh. All right. All right, snow cover down, snow cover down. That's what, that one's pretty easy. This feels bad, but sure. Yes, yeah, so I'll be playing modern a little bit later. We don't know that our hand sucks. We saved Jace. Our Jace is on one. Theirs is on seven. Baleful Strix is annoying. Yeah, we're getting outvalued here pretty bad. We need to draw... Something cool. Thanks, Mandy. Is 8 Whack a good deck to get into Modern with? I would say it's a good starting deck for Modern, sure. Um, so I put back two islands I did not fetch. So let's fetch. Uh, I smoke PCP. 11 months. Terminus. Back to basics. Christ. Brainstorm. There we go. That's better. I don't think I even want back to basics. Um, put back to. Let's ponder. Probably end up shuffling. Yeah, that extra brainstorm doesn't really matter. Draw a brainstorm anyway. 
Ask Brainstorm. Really want to draw a Monastery Mentor. That's our that's our big card here. There it is. Add an extra Jace. This is gas. All right, we're we're in good shape now. All right, now we're gonna cast um, Mentor Swords Brainstorm. Is this poker? Kind of. Someone want to draw Judgment next turn. We're gonna win this game. We're going to win this game. I guess I could have hit the... Uh, we have another Jace on top anyway. Eh. Yeah, I'm not sure. We got our tokens out of it, which is the important part, so... Terminus, Jace, Council's Judgment. All right, so yeah, we're gonna put the terminus on top and try and get the fate seal us. I think I like I like that line. Um, so we're gonna keep the judgment. Thing is, the judgment's not very safe in our hand either. So, like, our hand is unsafe to thought seasons and stuff like that. I think judgment is the most important card. So we're gonna go. Yeah, we'll leave Jace in our hand. Put terminus on top and try and get him to, to fate seal us. Got him! Oh, they can just leave it there, though. I'm so dumb. <gasps> That's okay. We have Jace, though. We'll, we'll, we'll Jason draw it. Ugh. Well, yeah, Strix kills our Jace, and now we have our own Jace. And they didn't, uh... They didn't fate seal us. No, I think killing death right was more important. I don't know. Death right's really good. All right, so no terminus. Jace. We're also gonna get our prowess triggers too. We can attack their Jace, which is nice. But we're gonna try and kill it first. So Jace brainstorm. Put back Terminus, back to basics. There's no way they're playing Days. I don't think I need to play around it, so. Woohoo! Alright. Now we're in good shape. Life's good. Why not Alt Jace? Jace Alt is 13, I believe, or 12. They weren't there yet. Deathrite Shaman, sure. Yeah, I think we're golden. Oop. Terminus, Terminus, Portent. I don't really want to cast Terminus. I think our monk tokens are better than that. So we'll put back two Terminus, we'll just shuffle a Portent and cast back to basics. I could portent them, but I want to uh, shuffle away those two terminuses, or termini, whatever it is. I guess I could, no, yeah, I have to shuffle my library, yeah, so. This is a pretty significant attack, too, so. We're so dead if they have cyborg drown yards. Is that a thing? Do these salt eye decks in, in Legacy cyborg ooh, drown yard? I'm pretty surprised we came back this game, honestly. Uh, we were pretty far behind for a long time. They had a Jason play for a very long time. Is it worth letting Jace die? We have another Jace. Yeah, I, I, I might have made a mistake. I forgot Death Witch. I'm going to attack, but... If they have thoughts easier, that's kind of bad. Maybe I actually wanted the Terminus. I'm thinking about it. I don't know. 
Um. What the hell is that? Got us! <sighs> I mean, we're gonna Jace Prowess. We brainstorm. As long as we hit one spell, they have to chump block with Deathrite Shaman. No, nah, we're not gonna. <clears throat> Thanks, Chaos. Because there's hard cast terminus, we have to. Another terminus and a force of will. So wow. That's just awful. Um no castable cards. I guess they still can't really attack Jace though, because they just die in the swing back, so. Kind of a tilt though. It's pretty bad. I should have put that back the other way. Tilt. Cast Terminus and force it? I can't do that. I don't have any mana. It blocked anyway. Cool. Another Strix. Okay. Yeah, I put. I didn't put the Terminus back like I should have. Oh, sure. Yeah, I guess it's very good to have an instant. The thing is, these tokens are doing a lot of work. So it's sort of like... Yeah, I, I should have put Terminus on top, though, so I could Terminus and then counter it. Yeah, that was really stupid. I, don't, I, I just screwed up. This thing is hard to play, in case I haven't mentioned that. Um, they also have Death Right to gain life, too. Yeah. What the hell is that? Got us! Thanks for following. Death right attacks Jace. Okay. So yeah. Definitely would prefer to Miracle Terminus, but... What's up, Gull? Oh my good, go away! I think we're just gonna hard cast Terminus, honestly, and just shuffle these other Terminuses away. I guess hard casting Terminus lets us not leave a Force of Will, though. Maybe he's gonna be cast Terminus? God, what an awkward game. We also don't have any... Oh, I didn't put the island back. God, it's next sword! Alright, so I, I, my fetch line doesn't actually get any lands right now. Because I only have six island in my deck. I should have put an island back. That was stupid. Um, I kind of want to leave... I mean, whatever. We can shuffle anyway. It doesn't matter. Attack, attack. They block, block. Then it's Deathrite versus Jace, and we still have Terminus, and we have Force of Will up. And we can just Terminus next turn. Yeah, I like that. Alright, so we're just gonna go... Attack. They block, block. Which is fine. We're gonna play Scalding Tarn, and just say go. Only one Tundra, yes. So we're going to... This is fine. So now we have Force of Will up if they cast anything that's not a creature. Otherwise, we just draw on Terminus next turn. Then we get to Brainstorm, put back the lands, and then start drawing cards, hopefully. They attack Jace to 1. That's totally fine. Don't even want to do that. Sure. Not exactly source of plus shares, but it'll, it'll play. We have 13 cards in our deck. Um, we have... Alright. So let's get rid of Island, Terminus, Shuffle, get the Island, cast Ponder. So we have a Mentor. A Snapcaster, some Flusterstorms, and that's really it left. But we obviously have Snapcaster in our hand, which is great. 
uh, which we're going to cast soon enough. Fluster Storm is nice. Force of Will is also nice. Um, I think we're just going to cast. I guess, I guess they have the Ks, which is kind of annoying. Actually, I want to leave up hard cast Force of Will. Yeah, we'll just let go. How did you get here? We entered a contest. We can end step. Oh, you can predict what I, what I put back again? God damn it. Nah, you always, you always just brainstorm. Screw Fate Ceiling. What's my top card again, guys? I'm sorry. Perhaps today is a good day to die. Thanks for following, everyone. Deathrite Shaman. Top card's Force of Will? Alright, sure. Uh... Five cards. Maybe path. All right, we'll just snap path. Good old path to exile. No drawback. Flush storm backup. Could bounce it too, but I want to get the Snapcaster in play anyway and don't really need to uh, kill stuff. They could have Decay, sure. Alright, they have Decay, it looks like. Okay, but now I have most of their lands on on tap, which is cool. Um, so we can brainstorm and try and find Monastery Mentor, or we could just start plussing. I think with the Force of Wills, we're going to start plussing. So we got... It's going to take me 10 turns, or 5 turns to get the ultimate. They have, we have 9 cards left. This is fine. Nope. They can draw that. Yeah, well, Fate Seal is the, is the best way now, because we, we have 3 counter spells in our hand. So, we're, we're totally safe... Fatal push, they can have that. Just grinding them out. Nice fatal push opponent. Counterbalance is terrible. Like, unbelievably awful. I played a league with counterbalance in it. Um My first league with the deck, I played two counterbalances, and it was basically a sub game of like whenever I saw a counterbalance with my ponder, I had to figure out how I would not draw the card because it was so bad. True name Nemesis. Uh, no. So this is game one. Yes, it's been a very very long game. We're gonna win. With, we're gonna win with about two cards in our deck. Put Baleful Strix on top. I guess no. I guess I, I still have a fetch line. I should just put it on top. That was dumb. I lose if I keep on this game? Oh, wait. I guess you're right. Because they put the cards back. If they had just been keeping cards in their hand, I would deck before they would actually deck. That's true. Actually. Well, I, I mean, I could just play Mentor and make them use Fatal Push and stuff. Yeah, good thought, though. I, I, I didn't, we didn't realize how low we were on cards. Yeah, so we'll just cast Mentor next turn. Right. And Snapcaster Mage, too. I mean, we also were drawing to a Snapcaster Mage, which we knew about, so... Put Jace on the bottom, yes. Holy crap, dude! Uh. Hey, Blast, wanna hear a joke? Ulting them, Ars. That's insane. 
if we ult ourselves to get more cards in our deck, that's really cool. Snapcaster Mage. Force of Will. And now that token's lethal. So I believe they have one card left that's Fatal Push. It doesn't even matter because they tap their Wasteland. So. Yeah, cool. Sweet. Alright, so this is a matchup where we want Search for Ascanta. Uh, we want Vanillion Click. We want Council's Judgment. Probably want the Verdict. Um, don't think we want Rest in Beast. We do want Flusterstorm, and we want a Caracas. We're going to cut all four forces. We're going to cut our Back to Basics. And we're going to cut a Plains. And probably Path to Exile. Um, prefer Disenchant over Verdict. Why do you want Disenchant? Like, Verdict actually kills True Day Nemesis, which is like a nice thing to have it out to. Um, just mop up the board. Uh, it's very, very close to the, the, the list, yes. What is karaoke for? I mean, you get drunk and have fun, you sing a little bit. You never really sound that good, but like, it's fun. You know, it's a fun thing to do with friends. Gragas is for bouncing my own clicks and just a free roll, yes. Karagas is intended for bouncing like Grizzle Brand and like Sneak and Show and stuff, but it has extra value in matchups like this. Now, I, I don't think you want Rest in Peace. It turns off our Search for Escantas and our Snapcasters. Thoughtsies. All right. Yeah, we don't want a Karagas Leovold. I right, say so they took Ponder. They're rude. Um, I mean, they must have more discard for Jace. Might have a ham here, which would kind of suck. But I don't think you want Force of Will in any fair matchup for the most part. We have answers to Jace. We have Fluster Storms and stuff, like, to protect our, like, uh, mentors and stuff. Sylvan Library is kind of a tilt, but sure. Why does everyone keep asking why I'm playing Back to Basics over Blood Moon? Because you get to play all basic lands, you can't get Wastelanded. Ugh. Clems! Everyone show some love and chat for Clems 11 months in a row. Almost a year. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate that very, very much. Blood Moon also turns your fetch lands off. Fetch lands are very important with your brainstorms and jaces. Yeah, library's gonna draw them two, two extra cards, basically. But we do have, like, you know, Vendillion Click and uh, Mentors and stuff to pressure, so... Bant Miracles with Sylvan Library? That's not insane, honestly. Why do we lead to Swords Plot Shares over doing a blue source for Counterspell? I mean, not, not necessarily going to draw a blue source. Thanks, Clems. Oh, I guess I should have played the fetch, so I'm just going to get a Tundra anyway. I'm so used to, like, my fetches only being one color, but yeah, I could have gotten just cut in Tundra. Yeah, that was a mistake. All right. So this one takes Snapcaster or Jace. I, gotta, I got my clock's really low. I, I gotta go fast here, my friends. Obviously, the last game took a really, really long time. Seven hundred viewers. Give yourself a hand. Fantastic. Thanks for tuning in, my friends. If you haven't followed the stream, make sure you follow the stream. And of course, if you're watching on YouTube, hit that sub button. If you haven't checked out my YouTube channel. Make sure you do that. Took the Jace. Blue source? No. Probably should have got an island there, actually, because I could fetch Tundra later. Uh, okay, second blue source is good.
Pretty happy to just snap Ponder too. Get a snap in play. They're they're already at ten. Um, I'm not gonna scoop here. I don't think we're at scoop range yet. I can play. I can. I can play. I can just like focus on the game and stop talking and play faster if I have to. Talk about resub. I play snow-covered lands just so people will ask me about them. It works every time. I think it's just bait trying to get me to use my verdict. I think they have a, tr a true name nemesis. Best bug list in modern? I don't know. Thanks for following everyone. It's possible I should have a counterspell here. That might have been better, actually. But, like, they didn't cast Jace last turn and they could have resolved it, so. Ooh, Search is great. Uh, ah, shh. No, that's good. No, yeah, yeah it, it, they're, they're just fun. I like them. Oh, they are, they are playing Wastelands. And they had the Jace. God damn it. All right. Maybe now we're, we're conceding, actually. We're down like a minute and a half. Yeah. Actually, I guess they use their wasteland, so. I'm gonna leave. I'm not gonna attack. I'd rather wait and um, possibly kill this and be able to attack Jace. I think if we get to six minutes and we still look really behind, I'll concede and go to the next game. Yeah, I forgot I forgot they had waste. They were so relevant last game. Ah, that's a huge tilt. Ah, fresh meat. Arid Mesa in the graveyard. Yes. Flip. Yes. Not yet. If anything, they're eating all the clock because we're not really doing anything. So, yeah, Moose, I'm not gonna talk to you folks. I'm sick of talking to y'all in chat. Y'all can go away now. Welcome aboard. Didn't even use Death Right Shaman? I did have six. Now we can snap swords the Jace, uh, the Snapcaster, and start attacking Jace too. I mean, we're getting close to being even on clock, so.
Sure. Yeah, it doesn't capture the mouse cursor. I'm not sure why. Okay, so they wisely took his Snapcaster Mage. Oh, I forgot we had this one. Ah! Get him! Actually, wait, don't have six there. Now we have counter magic, so we have to, we can't have six, but it's okay. Now we can have six. Jarrison, what's up, my friend? How's the house coming? Uh, it's coming all right. Me and Nicole are going to go down in a few weeks and uh, for two weeks and work on a lot of stuff. And we are just about to be ahead on clock. So we lost, we lost our flush storm and a verdict. Doesn't really matter because the verdict's pretty bad right now. We're still attacking Jace. Love draw Vendillion click. That would be the uh, ideal scenario. But yes, I think Death Witch should be banned. Legacy. I'll talk about it later. Yikes. Yikes. I got him at Jason play literally the entire game, and we're still, like, in the game. I mean, I'm just F6ing on their turn anyway, so it doesn't really matter. They can't really attack. They're just stuck on Jason every turn. Up their fate ceiling. I didn't even check what they did. Oops. They put a card on top, alright. Planes left. Council judgment? No, but still good. Fluster's dorm. This is a slow card. Come on now. Another Force of Will tilt. Uh, these cards suck. Oh, uh, yeah, I, could, I should have shuffled, probably. I'm going to try to go fast. Card on top. I'm going to draw this time. I think they gave me a good one. Nope, I lied. They didn't. I was wrong. Ah, now look who's in the red. I guess. Hi, Super Nintendo Chalmers. Well, now we're just wasting, we're just wasting their time, so. Uh, 
Okay. So we're now up a minute. So we want to be aggressive. Um, so I think we're going to bring some Force of Wills back in. I don't think we, want, we actually want Search for Ascanta. Um, that's going to take way too long. I think that we don't want Verdict either. I think I just want three Force of Wills. Um, did I ever get back to basics Pyroblasted? I think maybe once. Um, well, let's cut this Caracas for planes too. Alright, I will not be talking for this the remainder of this match. We are one minute ahead of our opponent. We have five minutes left. Let's go. Um, yeah, maybe back to basics was, was wanted for the fast game, but that's fun. Aw. Planes. Come on, computer. Nice and quick now. Nice and quick now. <laughs> no follows right now. I'm busy. Do whatever you do. Don't follow the stream. And definitely don't sub. Predict, predict, brainstorm? Yeah, whatever you do, definitely no follows and definitely no subs. So I pay attention, I don't have to ask. Hi, Super Nintendo Chalmers. True name and nemesis, sure. I chose me, good choice. Oh, that was a mistake, I think. I should have left the click in my hand, probably.
We're gonna win. We're gonna win. It's gonna be cool when we win. Leobold. Uh, sure. Force of will, eh? Good thing we got that covered. Actually, wait, hold on, before we do that, let's catch Chase. Suck it, nerd! And we're still ahead on clock. Damn, we're good. Ooh, Fluster Storm, too. I play reasonably well when I focus. I'm not yapping to you fine folks. Marsh casualties? My snapcasters, no! Is a good day to die. Uh, nah. Not about that life. Oops. Alright, I meant to stop on their draw step. I misclicked it. <whistles> Thanks, cardboard. Leobold. Tilt. Alright. Click, 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 click. They have Decay Wasteland. Let's take that decay. Anybody got time for that? It's your death right shaman too. All right, whatever. Death right shaman's annoying. That's okay. I guess I had judgment on top. I could have saved that for the uh, the thingy. This is a very aggressive council's judgment, by the way. That's a clock. That's a clock-based council's judgment. Jeez. I guess I get this, get this one card deeper, right? Might as well just cast it. Oh my god. Him to Torok. You're now down on time. Thanks, scavenger. There we go. Targeting Snapcaster Mage.
Oh, did we get him? Uh, did we get him? I'm sorry, what? Not enough time left? Who, who said not enough time left? I'm sorry, what? I couldn't... Was someone... Was someone saying we didn't have time time to win the match? I don't, I don't really understand, though. Someone was saying that there wasn't enough time. Hmm. All right. 14 seconds left. Opponent at 32. We were obviously ahead in the games. So when you're ahead, it takes more time when you have Jace. We won anyway. All right. You folks just tuning in, welcome to the stream. My name's Jim Davis. I obviously wasn't talking for the last five minutes. So I had a game to win, which we did. Thank you very much. Um, we're playing a version of my uh, Blue at Miracles deck I played last weekend, yesterday, to a, a top four finish at SCG Worcester. What, uh, what's up, Fu? A little, uh, little legacy action. Uh, slight changes from my Worcester list. I put a search for Escanta in the sideboard from the main, and I cut a counter spell. I added a second Flusterstorm and a third Monastery Mentor. And, um, it's basically it. Otherwise, the list is almost exactly the same. And, um, yeah, we're battling. We're 2-1. We lost to a, a Delver deck. Um, lost to a Delver deck. Probably could have played better in round one. And we won, we won our other two rounds. What a douchebag. Who, me? I'm a pretty big douchebag. I'm not gonna lie. But, um, Torch so Blinder, have a good time. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure you sub. Watching on Twitch, make sure you follow the stream, of course. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks for all the follows, everyone. Drain Sheep, Filth, Sia. And uh, Modern, I have no idea. We have SCG Dallas this weekend coming up. And um, SCG Dallas is modern, brand new modern format. I have no idea what I'm playing. I play, I'll be playing a lot of modern this week on stream. Try out different decks and uh, seeing what we do. So should Death Rite be banned in Legacy? I say yes. I think it stifles uh, deck creativity. It makes a lot of the decks just look exactly the same. Um, I think it makes mana too easy. I think that it's just too good of a card. I think it would be a better format without it. How do I feel about the Storm matchup? Game 1 is a little rough. Game 2 and 3 seem very good. Thoughts on adding more paths? Uh, I think that 5 is fine. Play humans? Eh. No, nah, not playing Boggles. Uh, Flush Storm is just much better in counter wars and better at defending your own spells. Because you cast a spell, they go to counter it, you Fluster Storm. That's a spell pierce for three that they can't force. Um, this is an interesting end. I think we're going to keep, just based on the predicts, so we can go Brainstorm into Predict. Um, yeah, we'll keep. Counterspell. Hand's not great, but the fact that we can go like end step, brainstorm, and then on our turn predict is pretty sweet. So play Traverse Shadow. The deck is busted. Eh, I don't know. We'll see what happens, you know. We got a whole week to figure it out. Uh, Pupski, I think that the problem with Death Rite Shaman is honestly somewhat in the deck building process. Like, you just basically have to play Death Rite Shaman if you're playing a fair deck, and then you, it pushes you to play certain cards. Misty Rainforest, go. Alright. I'm not sure if we're going to end step brainstorm. We'll probably just wait. Um, end step brainstorm is obviously pretty loose. Badlands. Okay, so they're probably playing storm. We could be in big trouble here. Nope, never mind. <clears throat> they're playing like check pile or whatever. Which means they're not playing days, which is pretty cool. So that might actually incentivize us to want to predict, brainstorm, brainstorm, predict. Um, yes. These are uh, some goldfish, cheddar goldfish I have here. I think Deathrite, with Deathrite gone, people will play two color decks more, which is cool. Because it forces you to choose colors to play, not just like 
play all the colors. All right. Do we end step brainstorm so we can predict? Then we're not leaving up counterspell, although counterspell is really big on turn four for Jace. I don't really know exactly what they would play next turn. I want a counterspell except for perhaps Leovold or like Dak Faden. I guess we could just wait. We're not really in any rush. Ooh, back to basics is sweet. Yes, they are whole grain cheddar goldfish. Nice and healthy. Yes, I would say that Death Rite has a similar effect on Legacy that Energy has in Standard. Exactly. I would say that it's surprisingly similar how a Tomb with Aether and Aether Hub affect the format as Death Rite Shaman affects the format. That is a very good analogy. Sorry guys, I'm still a little sick. You do blow my nose here, I'll mute the microphone. No, y'all would have loved to have heard that, but I think you're better off not hearing it. So, is there a reason not to ban Brainstorm? Honestly, that could that Brainstorm is a card that could be banned, but it would just change the format a lot. I think people really like casting Brainstorm. It's also a really skill-intensive card, so that's a tough one. Love Mancer. Roses are red. Mentor's prowess gets bigger. Draw a card from the top. Hey, look, miracle trigger. <laughs> like, Siri paused for the punchline. That was great. G Lob Mancer, 23 months. You're about to be a two year sub. That oh, feels crap, good. Dude. Okay. Um, so we could just slam back to basics here. They did pause, though. I would not be surprised if they had Force of Will. I don't know. They might have just, like. This is kind of tough. They might have tried to force and to defend Leovold. Um, this is a tough one. This is a tough one. Kind of want to slam it. I mean, the game just ends if we slam it and they don't have Force of Will. Um, so the question becomes, would they have defended their Leovold with Force of Will? Um, I think the upside is just too high here. I'm going for it. If it's not going to resolve, it's a him to Torok. Sure, they have force. All right, cool. They exiled a Ponder, so sure. I'll take that. And now we have a better chance of resolving Jace down the road. So. White Ninja, I actually remember that. Um, and I was very curious as to why your friend was eating his cheeseburger using the trash can as a table, thereby blocking the trash can, and also just using the trash can as a table, which is kind of disgusting. So, it was not intentional to, you know, towards them, but... Kind of gross, all around. Alright, Death Rite Shaman, sure. You got a him here, too? Because they're fun. And it makes everyone ask about them constantly. Leovold too? Jeez. That's kind of a problem. White Source? No. Okay. Um, I guess we're in trouble now. Because we just need to draw a White Source. Kind of a tilt. Not gonna lie. They have Unearth. If we predict them, they they draw a card too? Jeez. I mean, we brainstorm and draw one card, that's not going to be very good. Zero cards, actually. Out of a last match, and we won. With 14 seconds left on our clock. Just like I said we would. God. 
Are we pondering just to like look at our top three cards? If only we had Portent. That would be great. I think we need to ponder here. I can target myself, predict. I'm an idiot. Yeah, we're gonna wait one more turn. We'll, pre we'll predict ourselves. I should have, I should have predict, 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 predicted ourselves. That was dumb. I was just thinking about predicting them and them drawing a card. And um, yeah, I should have just predicted us. Yes, when Leovold actually resolves and stays in play, it is very good. If we had a white source, I think we'd be fine here, but we might just die now. We probably played bad again, honestly. Um... Him the Torok. Sure. I mean, we're basically dead to this death right too, so... Well, I, don't know, I can't even draw to, so... Oh, there's our white source. And Monastery Men's Everywhere. Now we're just dead, though. There's death right, death right, attack. Too little, too late. Um, I guess we could hit Terminus on their turn. They, we still die, though. Or, yes, yeah, we, we hit the fetch. All right, that was a pretty tilting game. Um, I guess we screwed up. I mean, I guess casting... I guess them having a second Leovold makes sense why they wouldn't defend the first. So I think our read was probably fine, but I don't know. Yes, I picked Abandon Hope. Abandon all hope, ye who enter here. All right, whatever. All right, I mean, I guess we screwed up. All right, so they're four color piles. They're not gonna have wastelands, definitely. So I want the searches, the clicks, Caracas, Council's Judgment. We need to cut a path. I would like to cut Probably a Terminus, and I would like to cut a Plains for the Caracas. Nope, that's too many cards. Oh, Flusterstorm. Storm. Yes. Is it possible that Verdict is just better than Terminus? <laughs> Maybe? Um... I mean, I don't think Terminus is that great against them, honestly. They don't have that many creatures, and we're boarding in some creatures. Um, splashing in in Legacy Burn is very bad because it opens you up to Wasteland and makes your price of progress worse. Um, yeah, this is fine. I guess we don't, I don't actually want back to basics. No, I do. I don't know what I want. So we have search and back to basics. I guess it's fine. Is Verdict better? Maybe. All right, sure. I believe you. So I guess we're not. We don't want Caracas then. If we have back to basics, whatever. I guess back to basics is insane against them. They don't play any basics, right? So. Ah, oh, come on. I found our white sources. What's up, Blue Magic Guy? Thanks, Sleepy. I appreciate that. Okay. Hey, know what you want is hard, all right? It's not easy to know what you want. Most dynamic ska bassist to listen to and learn the style from. Uh, the dude from Rancid. Huge influence on my bass playing. I love that guy. <sighs> Say our hand is not great here. Thankfully, we have this brainstorm to make it better. 
Sweet Delver guy, that's awesome. Yeah, Rance is gonna be our wedding song. Nicole's super excited. Bale full strikes. But between the buried and me, I'm not too familiar with them. Alright, I mean Bale full strikes is fine, whatever. I would say most ska bases are very good, actually. Alright, we're gonna dump a sword supply shares. I think the Caracas too. Yeah, we'll fetch a planes. Hey, Flash, wanna hear a joke? She's always fetch tundra. So I want the blue for the uh, the thingy. We'll just deal with it if we drop back to basics. What's up, War Machine? Sweet, thank you, my friend. Whoa, that is a lot of lands. All right, Portent, give me the shuffle. Thank you. Good draw. Strix is definitely pretty annoying because like we don't really want to counter it or kill it, but it's like gonna peck away at our Jaces and stuff. Which is annoying for sure, but another source of ours. So we're gonna end step Snapcaster Brainstorm. As someone who plays on the SCG, SCG Tour regularly, when I say the overall level of play is higher or lower on Moto, I would say the level of play in competitive Magic Online Leagues is higher. Um, competitive Moto Leagues are definitely, you know, like there's tons of pros playing them at all times, you know, like, and the people who play on them tend to play a lot and just are pretty experienced. Whereas it opens, you know, you have the, you know, you have the more casual players who they have their modern deck, they show up and play and open once in a while and have some fun. You know, they're not really super serious. All right, so I guess I was totally wrong about them having basics or not. Um, which is fine, I suppose. So I guess we'll cut the back to basics for game three. I thought I thought the four color check pile decks played almost all non basics because they're playing four colors. So welcome aboard. We got a red blast, my Snapcaster Mage. So Flusterstorm doesn't really do anything. Neither does Counterspell. Red Blasts are definitely, definitely good against us, for sure. Um, Bob, one of the best cards in the format against us. So, that's kind of tilting. Counterbalance is terrible. Any juicy stories? Not really. It's a pretty relaxing tournament, honestly. Yeah. I mean, I would like to get the Snapcaster in play. Um... But it's not worth the cards. Heh. <laughs> sure. I'm down. Better than in my hand. Yeah, I'd say our hand is pretty bad here. I think we're in, in trouble. Opponent's got six cards. We have four. Our cards aren't very good. Jeez. Snapcaster Brainstorm. Yeah, I think we're going to Counterspell here. I guess we have, like, Swords. Just so many, just so many two-for-ones. I mean, if we Counterspell here and they have a, a Jace, it's, it's a disaster. I guess we just let it resolve. This matchup seems tough. Fresh meat. Um, like, they just have... 
a lot of good grindy threats and pyroblasts. That seems pretty difficult. Like we, beat, we beat the Sultai player pretty well, but this is just Sultai with pyroblasts, which is tough. Is it Leovold again? Yeah, like, just everything is just a two-for-one. And if we, like, I, I really want to hold on to this counterspell for a Jace, but we just, like, Leovold, swords it, they, like, counter with swords. Yeah, I'm just going to, whatever. Well, obviously, if we draw a search for Ascanta, that'd be great, yeah. All right, we could obviously never win. Welcome aboard. Um, if our opponent is interested in grinding so hard, they're playing Familiar's Ruse to rebuy their Snapcaster Mages, then they're so far beyond, beyond us on the grinding scale that we have no chance to win. I mean, like, this is terrible against literally almost everything but, like, us. All right, well, we're just going all the way here. Maybe this is dumb. I don't even know anymore. We, have, we still have swords in our hands. Maybe this is wrong. I don't even know. I'm. I just got familiars ruse and I've got nothing left. There's just nothing in the tank. We just got familiars ruse. Like, yeah. I mean, that's cool. I guess with Snapcaster and Strix, but it's gonna be dead a lot. Pretty bad. I guess if they force this, I'm pretty happy, because, like, that at least gets some cards back, and I can just swords it. But, yeah. I just, like, these mana bases are just so bleh. Yeah, they're forcing. All right. Exiling Brainstorm. All right. I mean... We may be a little bit tilted. I'm not going to lie. I mean, yeah, Familiar's Roost. It's, it's the tech, I guess. So I guess we still want back to basics against them, even though they have two basics. Um, like, they have a lot of really mana-intensive cards. What's up, Ryan? So they have Snapcaster in their hand. And they can just Familiar's Ruse and then get it back again? This is ridiculous. This is preposterous. Like, I don't see how he can ever win. Like, they can Snapcaster, Familiar's Ruse, bounce Snapcaster, and like, they're already up like six cards or whatever. So. <laughs> Thanks for following. I said Goldfish, thankfully. Baleful Strix. Like, how does this deck beat a combo deck? You know? Jeez. I think Legacy is kind of stinky right now, to be totally honest. Well, there's our Mentor. That's a, that's a start. Oh, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have put it in our hand, though. That was dumb. I should have put it on the top of my library so they couldn't discard it. That was really stupid. All right. So we've got to find a way to sneak this Mentor in. And... <laughs> Okay, maybe they'll they'll bite on the familiar's ruse here. 
I have to cast the swords before the mentor, so. They would not bite. I guess we just wait. Okay, now they're gonna aggro Snapcaster? Alright. Alright, alright. So they have another Snapcaster, I guess? Okay, okay. Rec Zone, the game's not over yet. We're still playing, thank you very much. Don't be rude. Give me sugar and water. Thanks for following Disc, disc Golfer. We'll just draw Fluster Storm. I, care. I don't even know. I got nothing. I mean, we knew our top card anyway. That was dumb. All right, whatever. Uh, I would say that is not true at all. That legacy is pretty balanced and more diverse than modern. Grixis Delver was 25% of the field on day two at uh, SCG Worcester. Um, Alright. Yeah, we're dead. They beat us. Familiar's Ruse, Mega Value, four color deck defeated us. They were able to outgrind us. Who would have thought? Uh, if you're sitting here, welcome to the stream. My name's Jim Davis. We're playing an updated version of my Miracle deck. Um, slight up, slight update, extra mentor. Um, but yeah, yes, but zero zero point or point zero zero two percent is still a non-zero percentage. So we don't give up, you know. All right, the sand is fine. It's not ideal, but it's fine. Yeah, I think, I don't know, I think Legacy is a little eh right now. Terminus Portent Misty Rainforest. Alright, well, I want the Portent, and I guess the Misty. I really want Terminus. Perhaps today is a good day to die. Alright. Oh boy, here we go. It's soldier time. Nope. Oh look, they're on Blood Moon, yay! Car that shouldn't be good against us. Just ban the card Delver of Secrets? It'd be a bunch of four color check piles out trying to outground each other. All right, uh, Snow Covered Plains, there it is. Life is good. Um, do I want this Terminus? I can't shuffle anyway, so I can predict, though. Yeah. I think we're fine here. Would Legacy being mad at the moment, or I think... The band up top was a good choice in retrospect. Yeah, I think so. Um, all right, there's no chalice for one here. <laughs> okay. Well, we have a terminus now, so we can just chill and just, dro dro just do the terminus thing, so that's fun. I should do it on their turn, too. Um, we gotta predict them, but we can do it on. I guess we'll do it on the end of their turn, because I don't want them to have ac the access to the extra two mana. So we'll just take an extra four, it's fine. How do I feel about my ability to inhumanly find a planes when I need it? I mean, better lucky than good. What do you want from me? You know? How am I drawing it on their turn with predict? 
Miracles over Stoneblade? Because I'm playing all basic lands. I don't know. Actual Blood Moon? That's fine. Um, so we have a Plains. Yeah, this, this is fine. I'm, I'm fine with this. It's not ideal. We're gonna draw. We're also gonna draw some cards too. So I guess this is fine. We're milling them. Predict them. We're gonna name. What's a carve? Is it like oh mountain? This is probably their most. If I can spell it right. Nope, not a hit. That's still fun. Whoosh. So now, let's just draw a cantrip. Nope. Still fun. Still fun. A lot of mentors. A lot of mentors. Well, the brainstorm is just like super skill intensive. Oh boy, here we go. This is the game we're going to play. A little snaring bridge game. Give me an island, I suppose. That's no moon. Goblin Rabble Master. Nice. That's actually funny because they can't attack, so they're going to build up a million different goblins. Swords to Plowshares. Do we Swords to Plowshares with the Rabble Master? Uh, I don't think so. I don't know. Another Blood Moon. Sure. We've already established that we're going to be playing under Blood Moon this game. I guess I should have killed that. Yeah, I'm going to kill it. I should have killed it before, before, but whatever. I have all this stuff in play and whatever, and all these sorts of plowshares anyway, so. How about we draw an Islander or Cantrip? Nope. We're going to leave a Mentor in our hand in case they have the stupid Confluence card. I guess we kill this one too. What other creatures do they have? Not many, right? Like, there's a lot of this happening in Legacy, just like these Chalice decks. A lot of death right decks. I don't know. Ooh, brainstorm. I don't want to get locked though. Um, maybe we just wait a turn. Yeah, we just let's wait a turn. Tilt. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait again. Oh, I should have played the land. Oops. Chalice on one. Tilt. It's actually pretty bad for us. There's console's judgment, but we can't cast it and now our brainstorm locked. Alright. I mean... Not going anywhere for a while. No, yeah, they they have Chandra to win with. This is so tilting that our our nine basic land deck is losing to a Blood Moon deck. Okay, two damage. I guess I should I should have held a. No, I still would have had a million goblins to play eventually. Portent. I can't cast it. Just Chalice and play. God damn it. Uh, do I still just cast it for tokens? I guess we only have one console's judgment. We should draw a natural island or a natural plains. Whatever, I'll just cast it. Yes, yeah, natural island 
or natural planes, which we have five islands and two planes in our deck. All right, yeah, we get it. We have six turns to draw one. We did it. Now, what do we do? Now, if we bounce Hazard, they still can't attack. So... Hi, Super Nintendo Chalmers! If we... It's a ridiculous game. Yeah, we're gonna... I guess we're looking to, to ensnare... <clears throat> Judgment, the ensnaring bridge. That's our plan. Um... Ultimating Jace does not win the race against Hazard. Uh, do I cast another monk? I don't think so. Problem is brainstorming like we can't shuffle, so like we're not even like we can't cast one drops either. So a lot of our cards just don't matter. We're just looking for the planes, I guess. I guess we could alternate brainstorm and then bottoming a card. I guess we'll brainstorm first. A bunch of one mana spells we can't cast. Hi, Super Nintendo Chalmers. We could also terminus this Hazard. How much it sucks to lose all our shit. That's like an option. Um, today is a good day to die. That is true. We can just attack. We can we can bounce, cast, cast, cast. That is true. Next turn. Okay. So we don't have, I don't have any instants though. I have a portent and a ponder. I need a brainstorm. I can like cast spell, cast fluster storm. Um I don't think we're there yet. I think that's gonna be our plan, but we're not there yet. Let's set up for that next turn. We need instance. So what's um brainstorm? Thanks, Insomniac. Force of Will is actually great. So we're gonna put back Terminus. Maybe do an island too, that's gas. Alright, put back Terminus Jace. Playland. I'm gonna cast a portent. Make tokens. We're going to cast a new Jace and plus it. And then next turn we can go... Wait, I still don't have an instant. I'm an idiot. I still don't, I don't, I still don't have a castable instant. Well, we're almost there anyway, honestly. Just like to attack with everything. I need a castable instant. This is really complicated. I, just ca I should just cast the other mentor. Yeah, I'm an, I'm an idiot. Uh... We can't just bounce Hazard and win because we need to make our things big enough to kill them. We need a castable... I, I can cast Ponder, plus Storm it, then Force to Will it. I don't want to counter Hazard, I just want to bounce it. Terminus Snapcaster Mage? That, that doesn't work. That does work. Okay. Snap should do it. So now... Do I need to counter that? Hold on. So... What's this gonna do? This is gonna come down. This is gonna kill my. That's no, like I can't, can't kill Jace. This is fine. We need Force of Will to pump our team.
So we have 10, we have 14 creatures. All right, so we untap, we draw, mentor. We bounce, hazard it, move to attack step, attack with everything, then cast Snapcaster Mage, target Swords to Plowshares, Cast, wait. retain priority, yeah, cast source of plowshares. Cool. Okay, we got it. <laughs> we beat 90 blood moons. <laughs> that was a ridiculous game. Let's um, let's bring in our disenchants and our fluster storm doesn't really do anything. I guess our judgment and our clicks. The plow is lethal by itself, sure. I mean, we had so many tokens at that point, it didn't really matter, so. Um, we, do want to, we don't really care about back to basics, I guess. I guess it does turn off some other lands, but we don't really want that, I suppose. Um, Fluster Store doesn't really do anything. Path to Exile is kind of bad. Uh, I guess Terminus is really bad, too. Is Flush Storm better than Terminus? What do they have in their deck? Like, they have Planeswalkers, Enchantments, and Artifacts. Um... Search doesn't really do much, I feel like. Chalice for one is annoying, yes. I don't think we want Terminus in our deck. Chalice makes Terminus worse. Terminus is good against Rabble Master and Magus of the Moon. It's almost better than like the Swords are because of Chalice. Um, Search for Ascantha does like just filter, I guess, which isn't even that bad. Surgical? No, we're not bringing surgical attraction. Um, I kind of want the searches, actually. Maybe we just bring in search and we cut like two portents to try and hedge against Chalice. Um, yeah, I kind of like this. Yeah, sure. Let's do that. I almost want to bring in Containment Priest just as like a, just a beater, but... Does Chalice work against alternate costs? Chalice does nothing against Terminus. Why do you play Path in a Back to Basics deck? Because I, I need a, a fifth short of Swords Supply shares. Most decks don't have Basics anyway. Search does help against Brainstorm Lock, it's true. Yeah, it's like the cards, the quantity of cards don't really matter, so the filtering actually seems fine. All right, sweet. This is a keep. Ah, uh, yes, they have the chalice for six. Um, we're gonna bottom this. It's an important card, but I feel like we're never gonna get there. They have turn one blood moon. We have blue at least for our click. If they have turn one chalice, we still have cards to cast. So sure, all right. Yeah, getting white white does seem a little rough. So we're just gonna play our flood strainer. We can fetch our planes. We got click. We got plenty of uh, plenty of plenty of islands. That's pretty good, I suppose. Turn two Chandra. Turn one Chalice on one. Turn two Chandra. All right. Two red? I made a spirit guide and a rabble master? Ah, oh, crap. I have sixth. That's such a tilt. I just assumed they couldn't do anything else, and I have sixth. So we. 
Didn't get the sword splash there's the Rabble Master. That's a huge tilt. What a what a turn. Turn one chalice, turn two, Chandra Rabble Master. They have zero that's that's their entire seven card hand is in play right now. Oh, the chalice in play. I'm an idiot. This is stupid. Um Alright, I guess they're probably dead. I guess I guess them playing their entire seven card hand on turn two is, is gonna be enough for them to win the game. Another Chandra. We can just like get a good predict here. I think Miracles is favored against Rixus Delver, yes. Problem is Delver can beat basically anything, so. Sulfur Elemental? Ah, oh, that's, so, that's so bad. We definitely now draw Disenchant, so we could just kill the Chalice. So if I kept the Sword Supply shares, we were actually fine. I'm an idiot. Oh, I drew a Tundra, we could cast it too? Oh, Mega Punished. All right, um. The Click kind of needs to attack the Chandra. We're going to take three, six, seven, eight next turn. We're just dead. We got to, like, just Terminus next turn. I doesn't even, can't even do that. Ugh. All right, we're just going to click block Ravmaster, draw Consul's Judgment. Ancient Tomb. We don't have a Brainstorm. All right, they have two lands in hand, so. Consoles, judgment. Uh. Uh. All right, I mean, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? They had a good hand. I don't think you can realistically beat their best hands. So. Do you want Containment Priest? I don't think so. Oh, some hand. Let me tell you. I mean, bottom cards just on turn one. We're not too white yet. All right, I'm all about this hand. Thanks, Hamilton. play island they have turn one blood moon whatever um i want the ability to brainstorm if they have a, a chalice and i like to shuffle away one of the cards if possible obviously they have chalice Ooh, so we could just force it yeah, we just force it, I think. Doesn't really leave us with much, though. But we have a Consul's Judgment and Double White. And, yeah, this is fine. We're going to force it. We'll put back Double Swords to Plowshares, I guess. Probably won't need that many Swords to Plowshares. Thanks, Yuke. Um, yeah. All right. So we're going to play 
Arid Mesa just to ensure we have double white if necessary. Ooh. <laughs> they're, they're next doing what it normally does, not just dumping its entire hand on turn two. All right, don't want to draw sword spa shares, so. Now, I want to, I think I think this card is really important for later things. I'd much rather have this for an ensnaring bridge or something like or Chandra or something like that. Cool. All right, so we can we're we're at a we're at a, we're not vulnerable to Blood Moon. We're not really vulnerable to Chandra, and we're not really vul vulnerable to um to uh other cards. Sorcerer's Spyglass. I guess our Jaces are off now. We have two Disenchants in our deck too, so... I mean, we get value out of Az Azkanta, maybe. And then we just have a Chalice and one in play. We can't cast our spells. You know, like, we have plenty of cantrips in our deck that we're going to want access to. Chalice on one is pretty annoying. Alright, the name Jace. Surprised we didn't draw Jace there, but... I'm playing Snowlands just so people will ask me about them. It works every time. Force it will. All right, sure, it's fine. We're past the point of any blood blood mood effect mattering, which is nice. We have a lot of things covered, and we're just gonna play our little game here. Like, look at this sweet, uh, sweet art. It's cool. Hey, Jace the Mind Sculptor. All right, so now I think we're going to just Council of Judgment, the Sorcerer Spyglass, and play Jace. Um, ideally, we'll brainstorm into a blue card so we can cast Force of Will. Even if we don't, I think we're still in good shape. So, So if they have red blast, it doesn't really matter what I what do I do it in. They're F6 anyway. Could stone rain them, which is tempting, but. There's no way they have bolts in their deck, right? Or any sort of like thing like that? No way. Yeah, just fate seal them though. That's, oh, I wanna brain oh, I should have brainstormed. Alright, well bottom that. I should have brainstormed though, that was dumb. We got lucky and put a good card at the bottom. I, I, I wanted a blue card for four, so well. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, obviously they're playing. Yeah. Oh, like they could have had um if we if we brainstormed and they had fiery complex in their hand, it would actually kill the Jace because they had, they were drawing ancient tomb. So seems safer to plus once, give them one turn to play something. Sure, that's fine. It's an annoyance, but it's fine. We obviously have the source of pleasures. So. Ooh, hello. Hello. Okay. Well, I'm not really interested in Terminus anymore, but yeah, let's ship those. I would say we're a little bit ahead this game. Just throw that out there. I know it's like pretty hard to tell usually without the uh, advantage bar, circa Pro Tour 2018, but I think we're like a little bit ahead, just a tiny bit. Bring it. Wow. What a brave little goblin. What can they have here? There's no way they have Pyroclasm, is there? I'm going to respect this this attack. You know what? I'm going to respect it. I'm going to block with just the Monk. They could have Sudden Shock. See if they have that, if they have that it dies anyway. 
What is this little attack here? Yeah, whatever. Call. If you have sudden shock, my guy dies anyway. It doesn't really matter, so... Maybe they thought I had to attack anyway. Ooh, Ancient Doom? What is this? What is this? Oh, it's Fiery Confluence. Oh, I'm so bad. I'm an idiot. I'm... Wait. They didn't do enough damage. So we lost our Jace. But we still have our Mentor. So they drew, so we bottomed Ancient Tomb and they drew Ancient Tomb anyway, which is fine, I guess. Yeah. Chandra, no, 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 no. They do have a lot of cards in there. We could lose this game, actually. That was probably a pretty stupid block on my part. Actually, I didn't, the block didn't matter. Um... Them drawing Ancient Tomb mattered. Spell. God damn it, we're going to lose. Can you believe we're actually going to lose this game? Can you believe it? Oh, did I not? I, I knew my top card, didn't I? I'm so bad. Oh, I forgot. I forgot. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just talking so much. I'm such an idiot. I just f totally forgot. <sighs> now what? Spirit guide for Magus of the Moon? God. Oh, there we go. Tonkin, that's all. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Alright. So, we got this Jace, see? And, what are we going to do with it? If we bounce Magus to the Moon, Jace dies to a lot of things. Um... Bounce Magus, attack Chandra. Jace dies to Hazard, other Chandra. If we just brainstorm, we're likely to hit another spell, and then we can attack Chandra anyway. If we whiff, though, it's like really bad. Um, yeah, I'll just kill it. That's fine. All right. Damn. That's tilt. Third Chandra. Clicks pretty good. Oh, we don't we don't, don't want to end step it so they can't kill it with the uh, Chandra. Add to red? What a maniac. Pia and Kira Nalar? Get out of here. Alright, well, now our terminus is good at least. Please cast Magus the Moon too. God. How do you not cast Magus the Moon there? You better not be watching the stream. DN Solver. Ponder. One, two, three, four, five, six. yeah, that's enough, all right. Why can't I tap my, oh, it's a fetch land now. It's not, it's not a mountain anymore. That's cool. Hmm.
attack first? I mean, there's just no way they're not blocking. <sighs> so they take two, we take two, whatever, F6. We click them on their end step, get to attack Chandra. Then Chandra will be on three and doesn't have any really profitable moves. Staticaster? That is, that's quite the bluff. Top card is Sulfur Elemental. Which is fine, I guess. Their hand is Magus Magus Bridge. Let's take the bridge out of here. Ponder, Force of Will, Flooded Strand. This is kind of a tilt. Hi, Super Nintendo uh, maybe just ponder again. Probably shuffle. Console's Judgment. Ooh. Um, that's actually pretty good. Oops. I hit the wrong button. Shit. That's fine. That's actually really bad. I, I misclicked the, the Force of Will. We actually really want to draw that Force of Will. I think we win the race here, though. Can't fetch the Magus the Moon and play. Control Z? What the hell does Control Z do? Is that undo? I didn't know that. And they were, they were dead. We just, we just lose the race here because they have two Magus the Moon. They can only cast one, though. That's eight, though. Three. Four, that's only seven. Ha ha! Unless they have some way to deal us damage. But yeah, we, we obviously should, we should have a Force of Will in our hand, and if we lose this turn, it's our, it's our own fault. We, we do die to a number of cards. Hazard, Fiery Confluence, Chandra. There should be a Force of Will in our hand, which is kind of unfortunate. You can't... So you can undo Ponder? Alright. Despite playing badly, we won. All right. Um, so yeah, Miracles is definitely a very hard deck to play on stream. It requires almost all of your attention almost all the time. So we went 3-2. Not bad. Um, I think we should we should have won that Delver match earlier um, if we played better. We did lose like the Check Pile deck. That seemed almost unwinnable, honestly. But, um, but yeah, here we are. So um, you want to open a chest? I don't want me to open a chest. I don't want to open a chest. Opening chest sucks. Is that a rat? He's a gerbil. For God's sake, show some respect. Welcome aboard. All right, we'll open one chest. All right, we'll do it. One chest. Are you ready? If you're ready, please put some emotes in chat. Show some hype for the chest we're about to open. They're playing some modern. What's up, Swordmaster? I saw that. All right, let's open it. Here we go. We opened a Lord of the Pit. I hope you're all happy, all right? I hope you're happy. I could have been like two tickets in my bank account. We opened a Lord of the Pit. All right. If you watch on YouTube, thanks for watching, my friends. And um, make sure you sub to the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Stream will continue.